who you are headed for. Hey, everybody's got to learn. Welcome how to back, everybody, to our Dungeons & Dragons <laughs> Sunday stream where we get together and play some fun games. Uh, this campaign is entitled Dungeons & Dragons The Tower of Dreams. It is a completely custom home-baked campaign that I've come up with with the help of W right behind me who creates all the maps and all the traps that you're going to see going on. Uh, I just want to, before we start the stream, give a quick thank you to Nolan, Pac-Man Jones, and Spilly Gile for putting together this awesome table you're going to see in a second with this cool monitor in the center of it for our new Dungeons & Dragons streams. And a quick shout out to February 1st when our merch drops. It's uh, about... I think a hundred different, well, a hundred of the same sweatshirt, but in different sizes. I think it's like five to ten sweatshirts a size, so it's going to be first come, first serve. They're very high quality, and I believe right now they're running about 65, not including shipping? 65, not including shipping. Okay, so definitely get on that February 1st when that drops. But without further ado, let's throw it to the stream and meet all of our wonderful people here. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, I figured first things first, let's go around and introduce your characters and just what they're going about with in their daily life right now. And let's start with, the, yeah, with All Trigger. All right, so, hi everybody. I'm Ongo the Gablogian. I'm a, an entrepreneur of sorts. I, as once highly acclaimed in, in downtown Philadelphia, but... I, my greed just kind of started getting the better of me, and I, I just and I also I wanted to to discover my my inner depravities, my 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 truest trash self. So I, he's getting real in depth for somebody who the next person's gonna be like, I'm a rat. <laughs> <laughs> and one day I was just kind of walking along a, a corridor, and I was. St- I stumbled upon this kiosk and there was a man who was selling all different kinds of arts and I'm a purveyor of the arts, a connoisseur of sorts. And he showed me this painting. Immediately upon glancing at this painting, I started having flashbacks and PTSD of wars that I've never been in. And as soon as I had realized what I had done, I had already given up my life fortune and I turn around and the guy who sold me this painting, he had vanished. So now I'm trying, I'm going on a quest to try to discover this man who sold me this painting, stole all of my fortunes, driving me deeper into my, into deep insanity, into psychosis, to try to be able to find a way to break this curse that has been laid on me. And I will do whatever it takes. All right, let's move on. (laughs) Right. I didn't know I where that was going, way. but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I came back he's, around. He's essentially <laughs> Frank from It's Always Sunny Building. Yes, okay, yeah. exactly. But oh, I'm also wow. a man cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the references now. <laughs> uh, so I'm Rivera Klein. I am a duelist, blade for hire. Uh, I've been spending years honing my skills, trying to uh, build myself up to where I can avenge my master, who was uh, slain at the hands of a, a rival duelist. Uh, at some point, I've uh, been pushing myself towards uh, finding uh, magical arts that would assist me in both finding this person and making sure that I'm powerful enough that I can prevent the death of people around me that I uh, concern and care myself about. And I found that one day I wound up uh, here at this tower. All right. Um... I will read off Simba's for you because he's not here. And I, I was going to just now. go off the cuss. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Nolan over here, Pac-Man, is playing uh, Simba's character, but Simba is not here today because he's not feeling well. So I will read off the bio he sent me I, the other night. I will say I do like the name. His name is Daddy Buster Cherry. His bio says he possesses a relentless curiosity, always eager to uncover the mysteries of magic and the arcane. Daddy Buster Cherry is also witty, known for his sharp and clever sense of humor. Daddy Buster Cherry uses his wit to both entertain and outsmart his foes. He's also a fan of loyalty and passion for his allies. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's move on. That's me, baby. Crack a whip! Let's go! Go ahead. Well, I'll cherry that ass. I wish... Oh, my God. 
Uh. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a script now, but my name's Ember. I grew up in the city knowing I had like an innate fire power and became a sorceress, but I didn't know my parents. So my goal was to eventually track down my parents, figure out what kind of lineage I have that gave me this power. Um, more importantly, I found a stray hellhound puppy along the way. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Again, he's my favorite, so. I love hellhound that's puppies. That's the best part of my lore, I would say. Yes. <laughs> what, what was your name? Ember. Ember. Oh, right. Ember. The dog? Egan. Egan. Ember and Egan. That's cool. I like it. It's kind of intimidating. Right. What's up? <laughs> rat mother, rat king. I am a uh, king's, well, I don't know that no one knows the name because it's lost the annals of time, but long ago I found these primordial rat deities that said they could make me never age, and I took it. And uh, it's slowly changing me into a rat over the centuries. So now I'm Rat Mother Rat King, and I have control over rats. And my whole goal is to just control every single universe of rats, every dimension. I'm going to find a way to break into the fabric of reality, <laughs> control <laughs> all rats. And my two boys, Ben and Jerry, with me, they're my main compadres. So, no rat relation. Rat King. I feel like just the nature of who we are, we might butt heads because big old man cheetah. Big old kitty. This one rats. gives no fucks. <laughs> He's the king of the rats. Okay? King of the but rats. But I'm a man <laughs> cheetah. All right, king next person. Rats. All right, I'm Ross. I'm a plumber from Milwaukee. <laughs> 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 I just work 60 hours. I'm off for the next two days. Ate a quarter ounce of mushrooms and sat down to play Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, that's where I'm at with my life. All right. And the last one. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm a, I'm Frogman. I'm a bird. Uh, I do bird things. I was raised by birds. Uh, yeah. So basically, I don't know, just chilling with my duck homies all day, doing duck stuff. What are what's duck stuff? <laughs> Fuck you mean what's duck stuff? <laughs> well, no. Save, save the conversation quacking. for when you're together. <laughs> all right. So. All of you guys are in your daily lives, living it up, doing whatever it is you're doing that you've duck explained stuff. to us. Duck stuff, maybe. <laughs> when suddenly everything goes dark and you collapse to the ground. Where am I? What's happening? Am I dead? No, you're not dead. Well, not yet anyway. <laughs> you have all been taken from your many different universes based on your strong desires and brought here to either succeed or fail in fulfilling said desires. This place is a battlefield of gods, demons, and all sorts of mythological figures. Here, you will encounter stories you have only heard of as legends or fables in your world. This wonderful place is known as the Tower of Dreams. At each level of the tower, you will face physical and mental tasks that will test your resolve and grant you rewards of strength and powers you never dreamed possible. But the greatest reward lies at the top of the tower. Those who prove themselves by reaching the very top of the tower are granted any wish they can dream of. So go forth, new adventurers. Prove that your resolve is strong. Your first task will be to choose a weapon and a sponsor. Know this, whatever weapon you choose will be permanent. And same goes for your sponsor. So think carefully about your decision. Also, acquaint yourselves with those around you for you will all be facing life and death challenges together to reach the top of the tower. And remember, good luck. If we had to fight crackheads from inner Philly, <laughs> it might not go so good. <laughs> all right. So, wow, you all find video. yourselves. Oh, yeah. Thank you for yeah. the video there. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, that, that is that our, was uh, that haircut. our... Like a, our mascot of the tower, our little Dokubai kind of thing, where he's just he's just an all powerful creature. It's like a How Navi. long does he take to do his hair every single day? He's just going Super Saiyan, man. <laughs> well, he's like the little uh, what's his name from Dragon Ball Super, little tiny. Yes, yes. that's the the yeah. premise of him was started with Zeno and then Zeno, it became yeah. this based off of a lot of AI art. Cool. Wonka went through. I, I thought like he was it. like Johnny Test. He's probably <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> like, blink, blink you out of existence. But exactly. he's like, hi there. So <laughs> you all wake up to find yourself just in a room together, surrounded by three weapons each on a wall. The weapons in front of you you see are a great hammer, a sword and shield, a staff, a lute, but it just keeps changing over to different types of instruments from 
bagpipes to a flute to a loop and back to it, it seems almost imageless um, bow and arrows a spear and daggers you keep having to buffer the stream I'll have my buddy work on that but those are the weapons as of right now you each get to choose one weapon and there will be a choice of a sponsor to accompany that weapon, but you have to choose the weapon first. But yeah, that's where we're at. This one has questions. There's no one else in the, the room the, except for you guys, and the not the, a, the almost not a the pop child. up in front of you of a translucent screen that says "choose a weapon." Okay, right. Well, it's on. a good thing I already brought my toe knife with me, and I grab my toe knife out of its sheath there's, from my bag. There's no. nothing on your bag. <laughs> well, now I form my toe knife out of the sheath. <laughs> Hey, buddy, are you reaching for something over there? I don't think you're wearing it anymore. Do I not have, like, any of the, like, so I had holsters and a sheath on my guy before we got transported to this yeah, tower. Do I have, like, any of these holsters or sheaths or anything that's on, on my have, character? Literally, you have your, whatever clothes you're wearing and the, I will say, the sheaths, I guess, of your weapons, but they're, they're not there. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to reach over towards my backside and I grab out. It's going to now, I'm going to say, it's going to now like manifest out of the, the little sheath on my back where my toe knife used to be. And now I'll pull out my new weapon. It's my dagger that I choose. It's You're my choosing a dagger? All right. So for your options, as you choose the dagger, three screens pop up in front of you and it says choose a sponsor. The sponsors that pop up say... Unknown Death Dealer, Father of Beasts, and Two Descended Paths Collide. Wait, so we have a Father of Beasts, beasts a Death Dealer. Unknown Death Dealer, Father of Beasts, and Two Descended Paths Collide. Each one of these represent, it could be just stuff taken from their story. These are all gods, demons, historical legends, things like that that will sponsor you throughout the journey every every when you pick a sponsor every skill you get from then on as you level up the tower will all be based on their myths. do we have biographies for these sponsors once you pick them fuck all right yeah. uh, <laughs> taking a look, do i can i see these sponsors in front of me all or you're getting the is their names all i know is their names and what's the name of the third one again i'll go through them again you have unknown death dealer father of beasts two descended paths collide If I'm trying to discover my inner depravity, my inner man cheetah, I gotta go with the man for the beasts. The father of beasts? Right. Father of beasts. Let me find that for you real quick. I have a lot of sheets here. <laughs> <laughs> and then where did we land? Did we decide whether or not they could, they were gonna have to read it out or not? They should read at least a portion of it. Um, Good thing I already got my reading like glasses on. on in here. Is anyone thinking about doing the, the instrument? Hold on, yeah, see. I was thinking about it. So we got the sword and shield yeah. with the dagger. You can read anything you want off of that. Some of these, you Staff. have to keep some of it a secret, but that okay. one, you Staff. can read everything out loud. Okay. Next person you want to go with. Do we want to go down the line? Do we just want to... Any no, person okay. that I'm wants doing to, the instrument. You doing Dance. an instrument? Yeah, in or, hopes that... Ratman's ideas All right. that uh, I can All control right. the rats. With as as you grab the formless instrument, three screens appear in front of you. Okay. You have. Where the hell are my instrument? There we go. Stalking instrument maker. Okay. I spelled instrument wrong. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Song of the beginning. Okay. And thunderous dark horns. Thunderous dark horns because right. my waves of rats will kill people. They're gonna <laughs> just trample over them. The power of rats. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> power of rats compels you. Yep, the power good. of rats compels you. Anything you want me. off there? Right on. I'm thinking of that lady who's from the next? Suicide Squad who, next? who can just yeah. command. So can you explain it to? Uh, can you explain? Can we pick any weapon? Any weapon you want. There's three choices. Once all, if three people choose a dagger, there's no more daggers. I'm gonna go this with cool. a staff. A staff. All right. Yep. Your three screens in front of you. I'm sorry, let me cross out the ones that have already been chosen so I don't say them again. No problem. The dagger was, you went with Father of Beasts, and you went with Thunderous Dark Horns. Yeah. Can I keep this sheet? Am I allowed to keep this or Is no? Is that my Discord that just went off? Am I allowed to keep yeah, this or no? Yeah, that's all you Right on, I'm not going to write it down then. 
Brando. Yeah, let's do it. Mm. Okay. All right. The three screens in front of you for the staff are Formless Teacher, Parted Savior, and Dr. Snake. All right. Well, I'm going to probably go with Dr. Snake. Dr. Snake? All right. I feel like he's like a mystical Mr. Go Go Gadget type dude. All right. Go Go Gadget. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna choose that staff too. You got you got the right idea over there. Inspector Gadget was easily a top five favorite movie growing up. All right, I want to mm. do the. I love Inspector what, what Gadget. What was the first staff? It's horrible, but I love it. Yep, he's good. So what was the first staff? The first staff was Formless Teacher. Yeah, Formless Teacher. Right. Anybody else jumping in? Can I do bow and arrow? Yes. Give me one sec, sec to give you the names. I have no idea what I'm doing with this voice, but I feel like it's just slowly morphing into Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate it. That makes a lot of sense for a frog duck guy. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, I didn't really explain this earlier, but my guy is an actual frog man, um, but he was raised by ducks, and so he thinks he's a duck, and if you try to tell him otherwise, he's just If he sounded like Jar Jar Binks, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be... Mad about it. Alright, you're good. It would fit at least. <laughs> <laughs> or the Gungan. Bow and arrow. You have, I'm sorry, let me oh, write down your that. staff. Holy shit, this Bow works arrow. so well for my guy. Accidental romance. <laughs> Twin nature virgin. Destroyer of the many suns. Oh. Destroyer of the Many Suns. Destroyer gotta of the do Many it. Suns. That's on brand. Did you shape any well, of these? What was the first two again? Accidental nope. Romance. And I forgot the middle Something one. About was, <laughs> yeah. Something about a virgin. Something about a virgin. It was virgin. Accidental Romance, Twin Nature, Virgin, Destroyer of the Many Suns. Looking for it. Hold on one sec. Damn, where is this thing? You guys liking yours so far? Everyone else who has one? Oh, dude. And I'm assuming Incredible. I only have five like, of them in the I, weapon I would like sets. That. Can well, I show <laughs> up? <laughs> can we show people? Or what? We're going to, every person oh, okay. can tell everything they want Sweet. about it. Yeah. So yeah. Mine works so we well. Just look at it. Who do we got? Well, we just Sean, I think. Wait and Stefan. Stefan. Ryan, a I'll let Stefan yep. go first. So I'm looking at the weapon sets. I've forgotten all of them. I have sword, shield, daggers, Great staff. hammer, sword and shield, staff. Loot, which is foremost instrument, bow and arrows, spear, daggers. By the way, your instrument, I would like you to choose an instrument, and the, it will become pick, that instrument. I can pick uh, anyone. Yeah. Anyone at all? I'm well, gonna... within reason. Like, you're not walking Grand around with piano. a full piano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I might just fucking bring in my drum and just. Did right. Yeah, play a drum. Yeah. Yeah. Did right. right. That's your, your instrument, is a drum. And it's uh, Thunder's Dark Horns. It's like fine. It. It's yeah. the it dark works. beats, you yeah. know? Fucking but Thunder with the Did Did do. Rats and drumming, from baby. Yeah. 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 Rats and drums. What weapon would you like? I guess I'm looking at my build up. So far, just based on what everyone's got, we got two staffs, a instrument, and daggers. I'm going to have to choose, and since we don't know what other people have done, I'm just going to look at the options. I'd probably prefer a standard sword, so I'll go with the sword shield combo. Sword shield. All right, your three picks are Secret Silver Prince, The Solar Sun, and Weak as a Leaf, and Solar Sun is spelled S-O-N. Uh, what was the first one again? Secret Silver Prince. I'll go with that one. All right. Man, this game's really weird. I can't go through the options <coughs> before I pick. Yeah, I have, it's making me pick something before All right. I pick the options. Yes. Sean Deasy, you're the last one. It's called one. gambling. Look it up, brother. What, do you, what <laughs> weapon yeah. are you going with? Man, these shrooms are really good. This fucking frog dude's talking to me. <laughs> oh, that was um, not a game. You nah. I use the voice. I'm <laughs> gonna go with spear. Spear? All right, your three are Spark of the Third Eye, Sacrificial Curiosity, and Undefeated Samurai. I'm going to go Spark of the Third Eye. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hell yeah. 
whispering eye, whatever. Yeah, whispering eye. All of that changed the that. Brown eye. <laughs> There it is. Got enough papers there, thick. Yeah, he's good. There was only, I think, one, maybe two guys who had weird flaws with them, and neither, none of you chose them. What were the flaws out of curiosity? Um, I think one of them. I will find it for you because it's it's a funny one. I think. Stefan drew my favorite one. Did everyone get one? Everyone has their paper now. Can we go through? Is anyone else thinking that um, Buster over there is our healer? It really sounds like Buster's our healer. I am the healer. <laughs> Hell What's yeah. Mine works so well for my Well, that works right. though. A guy Dude, who's fond yeah, of his allies on. and loyalty, a it healer for that, I dig it. No. Yeah. That, well, it kind of ruins my overall motivation. So what did I, I will. For the sake it's of the Sean campaign, if anybody is unhappy with the one they chose, I will give you one more choice. No, I think I'm choice, happy. But you have to take that second one. Ooh. I do not it's a want to. Again. But I have a question about mine. Since everyone has it, can I ask you a question about this yes, one? Yes, right? give me one sec because I want to find this flaw so I can share it with you guys. Because I feel like you should give this one to me. Yeah. Just if you're going to mulligan it, I feel like you should read us all the options for all the classes. No, I feel like my yeah. god absolutely You get one mulligan on the class character. you want. No, that's double or nothing. Yeah, you can't. I don't remember which one guy it was, but oh, was I think cool. he had to basically change his name and refer to himself in the third person by whatever name he chose. Oh. Excuse and me. wasn't allowed that to say why he chose this. He would just randomly start Daddy, talking in the third person about oh, themselves as whatever name they so chose. So I got a question Stuff. about a slight What's your to this. Uh, Daddy. It is Daddy. Daddy Buster Cherry. So you just get another cantrip. We that's what it was. That name the most. That's your cantrip. Well, person for sure. Oh. <laughs> No, because I think it's funnier if you turn into that and think it's just another duck. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound Anybody of that. Anybody want a mulligan? I, I might. We Hold can't on. know about it before switching. We just have to switch. Yeah, the mulligan, you have to lock if it If you want to hear the sponsor names, you can, but mm -hmm. you will just be switching on based off the name. It's just basically you're making the same choice again. And you can't if you're with more commitment. Can you, what you did pick you out of those two? I got... Hoo ye, destroyer of the many suns. Ho ye's fucking awesome, though. But I awesome, was though. intrigued by accidental romance. I just did not want to be the only girl and be like, I want to go with the romance option. No, that, no, <laughs> Ho ye's awesome. You're He's calm. married to Chunga. They're Julius. fucking awesome. I got, I got an Indian guy. Am I, I the only range? Yeah, Ho ye's married to Chunga. Thank you for the two anonymous floor. gifted subs from whoever did that. Kept it anonymous. Thank oh, you very no, much. Was, and it makes sense. Well, you have your help puppy oh, Chonga, yeah. the wife of Ho oh. Yi, has her Thank body you, that follows yeah. around. Right on. So you what got your help thinking? puppy. I'm like uh, the wife uh, and the husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dual power. Yeah, you're like Chonga and Ho Yi melded into one being as their progeny. Is anyone else a ranger? What? Because if not, I are we gonna be fighting a lot of a bit? I don't think anyone else is a ranger. Okay. But Ho Yi's a fucking awesome guy. Give us that answer, bro. It's all awesome. Sean. What weapon when did you choose? Oh my god! Well, I, I got know. Spark of the Third Eye. It's a spear. I I got bonuses against dark creatures. Nice. Yeah. It's a good choice. Though. Everybody likes. I have I have a really dope one, so I'm kind of biased. I don't know. Does anyone want to reroll? No. Uh, Can we share with the team first? So yeah, we let's know share with the team. Right. Let's go down the line. Wants to go first. Let's start with Ango yes. over there. Yeah. Okay. Ango. Ango, go ahead and start it for us. Okay. The father of beasts, also known as Loki. Yeah. Slay. Loki in Norse mythology, a cunning yes, trickster with the ability to change his <laughs> shape and sex. Although his father was the father of Farboti, he was included among the Aesir. Loki represented as the companion of the great gods Odin and Thor, helping them with his clever pl uh, plans, but sometimes causing embarrassment and difficulty for them and himself. He also appeared as the enemy of the gods, entering their banquet uninvited and demanding their drink. He was the principal cause of the, uh, of the death of the god Baldr. With the female giant Angerboda, Loki produced the progeny Hel, the goddess of death, Jormungand, the serpent that surrounds the world, and Fenrir, the wolf. Loki is also credited with giving birth to Sleipnir, Odin's eight-legged horse. All right, let's go over to our next one. Uh, Rivera Klein, I believe. <laughs> so uh, I went with the sword and shield. Uh, the secret silver prince is uh, King Arthur Pendragon. Arthur oh, yeah. was the firstborn son of King Uther Pendragon, heir to the throne. 
However, these were very troubled times, and Merlin, a wise magician, advised that the baby Arthur should be raised in secret, and that none should know his true identity. As Mer Merlin feared, when King Uther died, there was a great conflict over who the next king should be. Merlin used his magic to set a sword in stone. Written on the sword in letters of gold were these words, Whoso pulleth out the sword of the stone is a rightwise uh, born king of all England. Uh, of course, all the contenders of the throne took their try, uh, but none could succeed. Arthur, quite by chance, withdrew the sword for another in use uh, for use in a tournament. Following this, he became king. Hell yeah. So his sword is an Excalibur, though. So. We'll see what happens, man. Oh boy. Maybe, maybe <laughs> well, as we level up, oh shit boy. gets revealed. Who knows? That'd be bad. Excalibur All right, from king Arthur. Simba, what do we got over there? Uh, what was your daddy... Buster Cherry? Buster, yeah, Daddy Buster Cherry. Daddy Buster Cherry with the The whip. more I say it, the funnier it gets, honestly. I'm, yeah. I'm Simba, I'm Daddy Busty Cherry, or Buster Cherry, and uh, I, picked, I picked the staff, and uh, I am Dr. Snake, otherwise known as a word that I'm having trouble with. Did I not give a pronunciation in there? Let me look at it. No. No. Oh boy, Sometimes I did, I wasn't no, sure. No, let me try it. it it'll be on channel. Uh, on brand oh, or whatever. It's not a hard one. Asalepus. <laughs> Aslepius. Aslepius. Aslepius in the face. Aslepius, people would recognize from the logo for. Oh, is it Red Cross? Red Shield? The it's just like the staff with the snakes going logo. around it, yes. Nice. All right, to be fair to Nolan, that's fucking Greek. He, I mean, it's like that's. You barely read English. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> You're setting him up in peril. All right, here Let's we go. We just saw him out of read. We're about to listen to him read. <laughs> Aslepius in the ancient times was al was almost always depicted as a middle-aged man holding a rod with a snake wrapped around it. The snake symbolizes the snake bite, which was the worst kind of disease someone could have in the antiquity and very difficult to in the antiquity, is that right? Mm -hmm. Antiquity and very difficult to cure. However, Aslepius had the power to heal even the snake bite. This rod with the snake is known as the Rod of Asclepius and is even today the symbol of physicians throughout the world. And uh, yeah, I'm Dr. Snake, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the Rod of Asclepius. Ember over here. Uh, <laughs> What's your starting ability? Oh, you want to hear my yeah. Daddy, please tell us. All right, my yeah, starting Daddy. ability is from Daddy Buster Cherry. That I get it now. <laughs> I get it now. I, I was like, why is it, uh, like, I was thinking, like, of start, you know how I said I was going to wing it? I was like, I'm from Traverse City. Fucking. This man is internet explorer as a person. I host, the annual, <laughs> I host the annual festival. All right, so my starting ability is regeneration. Borrowing the power of the divine doctor, you may choose to heal one creature within 30 feet of you for 1d6 health. Nice. Cool down two casts per day. Nice. Can trip poison spray. Nice. That's it. Nice. Some people got more than others. It's just to balance out some things later on. Nice. Right. He got. All right, I, I can throw over. knives. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to read your guys' abilities? Because I don't think you oh, read them. I didn't. Out. Go ahead and read yours. I can throw my daggers at a creature to do range damage, and it, the dagger will disappear upon hit and reappear back in my hands, and I can throw two daggers as one action. That's, That's really dope. He's got a little overpower with him. Yeah. Yeah. We so need mine some damage. Is, uh, Excalibur. It doesn't specify how many times a day, so I'm assuming like his it's twice a day. Um, but I can raise my sword aloft and buff everyone around me to be a, doing an additional d4 of holy damage for the next three turns. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see why not. Starting Understood. out the campaign not telling us you have Excalibur. Understood. No, that's just what the power is called. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right, Amber. All right, I've got a bow and arrow sponsored by Huyi, destroyer of many suns. Huyi, also known as Shen Yi, or simply as Yi, is a great archer from ancient Chinese mythology. He is known as the patron god of archery. Much like Hercules, Hu Yi is well known for the slayings of many a monster. One of his initial archery stunts was in the early days of Earth. This is so far back in the day that there were, in fact, ten suns. They all took turns coming up each day and doing some things. Then, one day, That's they had... That's what it the said. <laughs> 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 it's like duck things. <laughs> <laughs> then, you one day, they had the grandiose idea of all coming out at once. This, of course, scorched the earth and made for a really hot day. He was tasked by the mythical King Yao to deal with the suns. He did this using his divine archery skills, shooting down the suns one by one. There was eventually only one sun left, and it was allowed to remain and conduct its sun business. 
<laughs> my starting ability is Hail of Thorns. Casting time, one bonus action. Duration, concentration up to one minute. The next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal effect of the attack, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save or half as much on a su su successful one. It will be explained on as we go. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Since I know you have no idea what any of that meant. That's it means nice. I make good damage. That's some big AOE yeah, damage. Make, make yeah, make good damage. With piercing damage. <laughs> big damage. Uh, I hit thing. Rat with rack. Abducius. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember either. Brandon. Yeah. Yep, Amducius. Yep. Amducius. Thunder. One of my favorite horns. ones, I think. Yeah, dude. Because it's it one of the so only out. 72 demons I put in this. Has 29 legions of demons and spirits under his command. He is depicted as a human with claws instead of hands and feet, the head of a unicorn, and a trumpet to symbolize his powerful voice. Amducius is associated with thunder and it has been said that his voice is heard during storms. In other sources, he is accompanied by the sound of trumpets when he comes and with would give concerts if com com commanded, but while all these types of musical instruments can be heard, they cannot be seen. He is regarded as being the, the demon in charge of the cacophonous music that is played and how you can make trees bend at will. Amducius or Am... Amducius, it looks the same. It yeah, matter. Amducius is fine. <laughs> this is the 57th demon of the Ars Go Goetia, and he has uh, 29 legions of demons and spirits under his command. Yeah, rank of Great King, which is cool. Ram of the Rat King. Got a demon king by my side. Uh, starting ability, Storm Trumpet. Enemies that come within 10 feet of you are blinded. Duration, two turns, cooldown, one day. Sick. It's hey, so I have a question. It's Solomon's book, uh, whatever the book was called, I so, can never pronounce it. It has 72 demons in it. This is the number 50, what it was? Would, would 57. 57. Uh, would you say my character has control of rats? I would not, but I, I would not as manifest say the that spirits you think into you the do. bodies of rats. <laughs> you know, I was given powers by <laughs> primordial rat oh, deities. But no. I have this. Give me so, the uh, unyielding death dealer. Could I have? We got a trade off. Oh. Hmm. He's nice. You chose the spear, right? Bam, yeah. bam, bam. We had to have one wild card. Oh, yeah. You chose spark. You want undef. No. You want to go with a different weapon? It's yeah. a knife. Dagger. You want to go with the dagger, the unknown death dealer? Yeah. I actually like that one. <laughs> Alright, that's permanent. Sounds cool. I was that actually sound cool. that one sounded pretty bad. I'm on mushrooms. I'm going to go with the cool name. <laughs> <laughs> like this I think this is easy. one of the very few other than probably... No, I think everybody got like a god or some kind. This is probably one of the only historical kind of things. Hmm. Wow. But I still thought it was pretty cool to make the hands of your sponsor is it just the plague? Is Jonah Hill? I got a <laughs> plague. demon. I have a demon. I'm dude. a plumber from Milwaukee. I'll make it work. I love how it's from Milwaukee, dude. You're the Milwaukee <laughs> man. It's like Jack. Well, Ripper. the only we'll reason that the plague killed so many use. people is because they didn't have yeah, like actual sanitation. Yeah. So the plumber comes uh, in to remove the plague. You're like Ryobi. Hey, plumbers <laughs> save more lives than doctors. <laughs> Hygiene, bro. Uh, let me know your your garbage without telling me your garbage. <laughs> All right, Sean. Just let's leave. read out yeah. your weapon and sponsor. Jack the Ripper. Ooh, Ooh hell yeah. Unknown <laughs> death dealer. Shit. Jack the Boy, Ripper. Rough. What is that? Synonymous? Yeah, synonymous. Uh, whatever. Murder of at least five women are in or near the Witch Whitechapel district in, of London's East End between August and November 8th. And November 1888, the case is blah, 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 blah. Yeah, everybody is Jack the fucking Ripper. Um, <laughs> wow. Great job on your right in there. your own name, you must now come up with a pseudonym to call yourself. Oh, there it is. You will refer to yourself as this from now on. If anyone tries to remind you of your name, you will not believe them and only accept the name you have chosen. <laughs> Please choose a name, Sean. <laughs> well, I, Sneak attack. Beginning at first level, you now you know how to strike subtly and exploit a foe's distraction. Once per turn, you can deal an extra 1d6 damage to one creature you Damn. hit with an attack if you have an advantage on the attack roll. Damn. Who gave the plumber the sneak attack? The attack he must did. use a finesse <laughs> Wait, or a Wait, bruv, I have a little weapon. walk. 
<laughs> oh, you you go on the attack <laughs> roll if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it. That enemy isn't incapacitated and you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. You know, it's so pretty much if somebody else is attacking this guy, I don't need advantage to hit him with that extra d6. Pretty so, basically... He's just going to nerf your sneak attack all campaign long and not let you do anything I mean, fun. I think he's going to let me do fun things because I'm the not going to try is, to rob every person. What is here. your name? Jack what is my name? The What's your new name? Jack the What's your Mario. New <laughs> Should have just Whoa. forgot. Uh, just know, you must refer to yourself in the third person as this name. In the third person? In the third person. Oh, man. Look, all it's I'm saying is murder or the boulder. Ross, Ross the <laughs> but the <laughs> boulder's no longer conflicted. <laughs> well, yeah, the boulder. Okay, the but boulder. he forgot his identity, right? But if he's like, "Oi, what if uh, Ross was a good name?" You know. <laughs> but turns out I refuse to take Ross no. in his name. It no, needs to be Ross. something else wow. now. He just really likes the name Ross, so. Uh, all right, fine. Do so it's it's, it's all, gonna be. Uh, Dylan. <laughs> Sebastian. 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 <laughs> no, you're going to be Sebastian. saying that a lot. <laughs> We're going to go with Sebastian. Four right. syllable name, Sebastian. No one else wants to trade out right. while I have here. Everybody's good with their choice. Yeah, I like my chance. demon. It's your last chance. Loki was yeah. known for plowing, and I like plowing whores. Hey, could uh, demons take over rats and yeah. accompany me? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Right, well, I don't what see what is your first got... skill again? I brought what? my monster what is your first skill? I had uh, storm charm. Ready to pull out. Enemies come within 10 <laughs> feet of you are blind in duration two turns. I'm sure cool you might get some day. charms at some point, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're going to try our best. All Every one of these is based off of their myths and legends and stuff, and then me translating that over into skills as you like. All right, right on. I'm going to vibe with it. All I like right. the demon. Mine, my sponsor is Merlin, the Great Magician. Ooh, that's Ooh. Most people today have heard of Merlin, the Magician, as his name has been popularized over the centuries, and his story has been dramatized in numerous novels, films, and television programs. The powerful wizard is depicted with many magical powers, including the power of shape-shifting, and is well-known in mythology as a tutor and mentor to the legendary King Arthur, ultimately guiding him towards becoming the King of Camelot. While these general tales are well-known, Merlin's initial appearances were only somewhat linked to Arthur. It took many decades of adaptations before Merlin became the wizard of Arthurian legend as he is known today. So first level, shape-shifting. At the first level, I may change into the form of a raven duck. This still can be... He's added the duck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a raven. All creatures are just types of ducks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And so, then I also got the cantrip magic stone. What's that mean? I don't You'd know. You'd have to I look it up. It's an actual yet. cantrip. Right. Right. Nice. Um, a stone. I don't remember. It's magic. <laughs> I think you can like imbue a stone with magic to like do okay. illusions. I think so. Yeah, you can like use it as a ranged weapon. I you'd have to look up the cantrip for it. Um, should we go through and just tell you what all the other ones were? Since no one's picking them, and no, because then no. you're gonna make do us that sad. Here behind good. No, don't, don't do it. We yeah, we'll do it behind the scenes. All right, don't nah, tease don't do us. It. Yeah. Because then everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, I want to change." Yeah. You know? Yeah. Don't make us regret it. No, yeah. I, I like my demon. At this point. We do get to pick our I own like theme song. I like my raven song, duck. Right? Theme song. What? Do you, what? Can I thorns we have you come up with whatever music? you want, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving this guy. As long as it's not copyrighted. I'm calling him Deuce. No, it's almost. This guy's just Deuce. I'm a snake doctor, dude. What? This guy's oh, you've got it. Yeah, question Deuce. for you. Deuce, what yeah. up? So what a Deuce. even though the anybody who might be watching hasn't seen the portraits for our characters, right? They, they will see them on They the will see them eventually. They haven't seen mine yet, so you know how my guy, how he was walking around and he had the gun in both hands and so he had the guns. And I told you how he don't see no good, so they're essentially just ludicrously dangerous props. Mm -hmm. If I were to go forward and never land a single shot or anything and use them as ludicrously dangerous props, can I carry my guns forward with me through the campaign? No. And even if I never hit anything with them? No, because I could find ways that you would come up with something that would be intimidation, persuasion, something. Something would happen. I could see it. Yeah, no, no free handouts, bro. <laughs> you already have two guns you in your hand that you get the wrong. <laughs> you got nothing. So my oh, see, no good. So I just started blasting. Just keep coming back to my hands. I just keep chucking them. Oh, yeah. I'll just chill them and then don't play them. I have no problem. It's worth my quiet You are saying. So I started blasting. What did you do? Oh, that's right. That's right. 
right. I love it. Okay, I'm good. Dick, I think you might need a, like a gavel. <coughs> no, we're good. A bell. Like, like boom. Let me put these away. Talk Back amongst in. yourselves. You guys DM are all brand spoken. new to each other. You've never met before. So now what the heck you guys AMA think meeting. is going on? Eh? 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 What, what's going on? I mean, we just... We, we show up in this... This random room. It says pick a weapon? That guy picked an instrument. What's he gonna do with that thing? Surely they're going to make us play. Fight to <laughs> I will play the beats. So, <laughs> Those so beats are making me feel things I don't even know. So what instrument is it that you chose? Like, I have chosen drums. So you just have like the little drummer boy drums. No. Bongos? No. You beat on the drum. Okay, okay, so 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 none of us know each other. We're just kind of here in the drums. same room with each other. You have an African. So drum. I so so suddenly, since all this just kind of just happened, I look around and I just see some giant fucking frog, frog man thing. who's got like who looks kind of like a duck. I just kind of <laughs> freak out because even though I'm a man cheetah, this guy looks weird as fuck. What are you so, looking at? Wow. What? What's Judgment. going on? <laughs> so oh, but I, I don't I don't see no good. So he just kind of looks kind of like a little bit of like a. Like a frog abomination duck. So, ah, 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 what's going on? And I just kind of try to throw a knife because I don't know what these things do so far. But I don't let's, see no uh, Let's get disadvantage throw. So, I want, so can I ask? <laughs> I, so I'm just going to ask. I, since I don't see no good, and this is just a, I don't, I'm just kind of lobbing it. Mm -hmm. If I can roll under X amount, can I accidentally hurt myself with an X range, miss him with an Why X range Why don't you roll with him? disadvantage? Okay. <laughs> On an attack. Uh, I'm just chilling with my rats. It would be I a throw, have... so it's your dex. Mm -hmm. Ryan, I do have rats, so I have a few rats under my command. Obviously, I will give character. you the rats. They will stay. Just like, like Jay's rats. ducks, they're staying right next to you. That's fine. They don't do anything. They can't affect you. But I can play anything. my drums. It's like you yeah. have dude, that many So rats. that's going to be a non yeah. 20. I have a non -net with 20. two 17s. I okay, have... so two 17s. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely hitting them. At least... At least a good, okay. like, 11 rats. Oh. Hey, Jay's got an hey, AC guys. of what now, Jay? Awesome. What's your AC? Tom. What's yeah. going on? Why don't you roll for damage there, bud? <laughs> I don't even know what the damage is. Where are we at on the map? Dam damage We're not on for the map a dagger? Yet. You guys okay. are just, like, in the room that you chose. Okay. Is it just Fair a enough. damage for a dagger down, like, uh, yeah. 1d4? Yeah. Okay. So, literally, it's 1d4. Really, so right off the bat, aggressive. attacking each other. Yep, yeah, I have no idea great. who any of you are, and I'm just kind of a blind dude seeing some, some sort of fucking frog duck thing after I just talked to a fucking god or Go whatever. Go ahead and roll your damage. If I were a Milwaukee boy, I'd be freaking right. out. You get hit with yeah. a yeah. <laughs> All right, Jay, a knife but then grazes suddenly, by you and slices then, in your arm. All right, I turn into a raven and try to peck his eyes out. <laughs> I, but suddenly, I didn't realize that this dagger... <laughs> now you understand. <laughs> in game, I no. say, these yeah, I ones up beneath me. I didn't know these me. daggers fucking disappear and come back. And suddenly, it just reappears back in that. And, oh, 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 God. So then just... Looks like I got a new toe knife. <laughs> Won't be losing this one. Can I be attacking at advantage since he's currently... You're turning into a raven? <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm, I'm going down. He's at his knife as I do that. Because I disappeared. Uh, my other knife is lost. I'm not going to give you advantage. <laughs> I'm you ducking down to go. Attack him. Yeah. Why don't I'm you ducking look down up to try to get my toe stats down for a knife. raven? A level one raven. I have a drum. Five, just search oh, raven nice. stats 5e. Yeah. But my question is, why are you attacking him? We were told in that room that when we walked out, we would meet our allies. Have you, have you looked at that guy? He's kind of fucked There's up. just a raven flying in the air that he's pointing at. It's a, it's a bird. But you also it let out a weird, like... Quack! <laughs> you're, you're, you're a, Where'd that frog go? You're a leopard person as well. I don't know if you've noticed this. You never seen a man cheetah? Come on, do something with this. Starts wagging my tail in front of his face. Yeah, I, I explode out of my raven form. Yeah, you never seen a duck before? This is how you treat people who are different? <laughs> I'm not treating you poorly. You are attacking each other. We were just working things out. This is my chum, my buddy, my pal. Hey, you, got, you got any trash to plug up this cut? I, I kind of botched this job. Let me look around. <laughs> no. I, I still haven't noticed like anybody else because I, I don't see no good. I've only noticed these two guys immediately <laughs> you next to me. Stop saying I don't see no good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't notice any of these guys so far. Literally, I've only been All talking right. to them. All right, I hit my staff and then I, uh, I hit it on the ground and I heal. Uh, what's your name? Ongo the Gablogian. I hear Bologian for... What's your uh, heal be? 1d6. <laughs> roll d6. 
That's one of his two heels. A lot of skill for not even yeah, getting on the first floor. You guys are using a lot of skills bleed. that have cooldowns. That'd be fun. I got a six. My shapeshift has there no listing. About Thank you. Cooldown. What does it say? Yeah. It oh. is a bonus action, and you get three shapeshifts a day. It My didn't bad. say any of that. That's what it is. All right, you should just give me that one as a gimme. No, there's no <laughs> gimmies in this game, my guy. <laughs> you did what you did. <laughs> Should we roll for initiative? Did um, you roll for your heal? Yeah, I did. I got Well, you only took one damage anyway, so you're back to you your, your eye is no, healing. <laughs> Does anybody hey. else want to... I mean, did that you get guy. it out of your system? How about you? You seem like you're not on the crazy train. What's going on? I'm just chilling. <laughs> what? Who's that? Who are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ember. Has anyone seen my dog? I... No! no. But you're one weird looking duck. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, this guy looks kind of like a. This is a fucked up looking what? dog, right? <laughs> if my dog's not here, I don't care. Hmm? Wow, that was here, slander, Jay. Yeah, so what, there what's no up with that, here. uh? What's up with that staff you got? Up? What's your name? What's your name, buddy? Why'd you just call Amber? You just chose this and just got a high voice. Yeah. Daddy. You just, no, I should. You're just doing Jackie Moon again. <laughs> <laughs> this is all right, a all right. reincarnation of Jackie all right, Moon. Stop it. All right, all right. Uh, why'd you call Amber? Uh, <laughs> or Amber <laughs> a duck? Look wow. at you. You're what a. Up? What's wrong with it? You fucking ugly duckling? Nothing. But this is my staff. It's a snake, so yeah. What's up with the duck holding the snake staff? What's your name anyways, Bob? I don't got to tell you nothing, but don't attack me or you'll find out. I don't want to attack you. We're on a team. Didn't you see the video? Yeah, well, there's no wrestling on concrete. You guys are like fool around. We're supposed to be allies, dumbass. What do you mean? I'm just doing duck things. You're a dumbass. Every sentence, You're a duck. I, I, every sentence makes less sense than the last one. How about hey, you? Are you, a rat? Rat? are you a rat? Yes, I am a rat. Can I ask one more thing? Yes. And I'm just hanging out with my rats. My rats are like crawling over me and whatnot. I got they Ben have, and Jerry. They made like a chair for you to sit. <laughs> <laughs> like no, I just have my two. I have my one, two Ben and Jerry. Just so one more Ben thing. and Jerry are like rolling around. And I'm just not even looking at him. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't have my rats run all over me. Was your mother or was your father the rat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this now guy's piss being off. awfully quiet over here. What's, what's the deal, bud? I mean, uh, Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian, I, th I think I'm a Viking or something, man. I don't know. I got this beard. I got this, this shit going on. I, I'm pretty <laughs> Fucked up, man. What kind of shit? <laughs> Why are you fucked up? Does he have he to up? always refer to himself in third person? So it's so, not I'm a little fucked up. Oh, Sebastian. Yeah. Sebastian. Sorry, it's it takes to get, get used to. Used to. <laughs> I got, I got one. All right. Give him some gimmies. Jeez. But no, we're we're just pointing it out now, so we can get used to it. What? Sebastian's a little. Fucked Sebastian up. took uh, some mushrooms earlier, and Sebastian's feeling pretty, pretty fucking good right now, man. And uh, who's Sebastian? Hey. Sebastian, you're looking at Sebastian. What do you mean? You got any more of those mushrooms? No, I ate the whole day. Yeah, just keeps I mean, looking at my toe, trying to stop the bleeding. Yes. <laughs> hey, Sebastian, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I'm. My my last two is Buster Cherry, but. My first one is uh. You can call me Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> the way he said that, I didn't like, like it. Dramatic daddy. pause. <laughs> you go. Sebastian daddy. thinks that guy's gamer tag says he don't get laid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. But wait, what's the gamer tag? Here's the it thing. Won. Here's the thing, Sebastian. Can I ask you something? Is that your character? You just said, can I ask you something? <laughs> can I ask you another thing? Are, are, Let me ask you. Are you, you talking question. to me right now, boy? <laughs> yes. Your name's Sebastian. Can I ask you something? Is your name Jack the Ripper? It's like written on your hand in crayon. What? In crayon. Sebastian <laughs> doesn't know what crayon is. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, man. What's, I don't, I don't what's know. going on, Buster? You're some sort of question master? <laughs> Dude, you already asked more questions than just me. Just over here busting everyone's balls. Can Buster? I ask you a question? Okay, Buster, what? Cool. 
Um, <laughs> Sebastian has to ask. Well, <laughs> is this guy? All right. Where are you from? Am I a frog or am I just? Duck well, well, they're all yeah, conversing. I'm just literally just going because anything that's longer than like this ten seconds, that. anything that's not keynoted, I stop paying attention. I'm start wandering around the room like and just kind of like looking around at stuff, seeing if there's any and like anything shiny. Yeah, I can grab. All the weapons that were there in the room you've seen are just no longer there, and you're in an empty room. And on one side of it is just this grand doorway that seems almost too big to be pushed open. So what's up with that door? <laughs> Can I ask everybody a question? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep raising your hand, bud? Just say it. This is not a school for argument, speak. For argument, you did. You did just ask a question. I just, I raised my hand to get some attention. So this this, this counts as your only question for the day for me. He feels the need to raise his hand and ask if he can ask something when he's already asking something. <laughs> Sebastian just thinks it's pretty freaking weird, man. That is That's a, not really daddy behavior. You just asked That's, a question. That's your only one. Scent behavior for sure. I think we should talk to this guy. Do you guys think that too? I'm just gonna start putting. Talk to him then, Buster. He must. He, he's going even if I can't open that door. What do we know? <laughs> what do you no, know? we will like, find our way through. We all just Anyone else want to like? I look around at this door. What do, That's um, what, what do I roll do. for? Yeah. Perception. Yeah. You just want to like look at the door. I'm gonna try to see if I can see anything on the door. I'm just trying to push on the door. There's no windows on the door or anything. It's just a door and carved onto it is just a tower floating in space, basically. Okay. So How do we... Ergo says I go up board? and I yeah. push out this I'm just trying to push it. You're yeah. trying to push I'm it? I'm just trying to push it. All right. Let's, uh, let's just get a strength check. Why not? Okay. <laughs> I see no reason to fail unless you really fail. <laughs> I, don't see us, I don't see us as a group yet. I'm just doing my own thing. Right. I'm just doing whatever. Yep. No, I'm not doing anything with that. What is it? That was a... That's going to be a five plus... Yeah, five. Yeah, I find it funnier. You start pushing on this door and it's just not moving at all. And you're almost falling down... Pushing into it. I walk up and the caress the, the tower. Yes. Is it a pull Can I open the handle on the door? You can try. I have to do strength too. No. <laughs> you go to pull the handle on the door and it easily comes up. <laughs> <laughs> and Ango is still on the other side of it, like falling down trying to push. <laughs> Are we on the map now? Are we still be going? Yes. As you walk through the door, it, there's nothing on the other side other than a bright light as you all just kind of fall through it. And as soon as you can make out what's around you, you're on the map you see right in front of you. In front of you is a signpost. And the signpost reads, to the right, cave. Goblins. To the left, town. <laughs> Very generic. And then in front of all of you, a blue translucent screen pops up and it says, level one, objective, slay the monsters. Cool. And then the f window disappears. So, uh... Spilly Jilly, thank you for the sub. We probably hey. want to check out this town oh, before we go down in this cave. I agree. Agreed. Wow! Agreement! It's almost like Thanks. we're a team! Yeah. Sebastian yeah. thinks you guys are a bunch of noobs, but okay, let's just go to the freaking town. A bunch of noobs? What kind yeah. of Okay, kind what of kind of gold are you sitting on, man? What? what kind of gold are you sitting on? What kind of gold are you sitting on? buy stuff in this town. Well, I mean, the secret element. You gotta rob right. beforehand. You gotta learn how to play this game. Charlie's Especially always told me about those little green ghouls. I wonder if I can find any of those things book. inside of there. Crime! <laughs> the secret ingredient is crime. <laughs> He's a... He's always been a fan of those little green ghouls. I, I, I kind of want to go try to catch one. I'm gonna catch start, one? I'm, I'm going to start walking towards the entrance okay. of the cave. You're going Should we take a cave? group vote, or can we split up? I don't care what y'all are this doing. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. I would like to go to town to see if we can talk to someone about if there's a bounty for like... So we got one going to town, gonna you're going to towards town. the cave? I want to find those little green ghouls. So yeah. you're headed towards the cave, that's mm -hmm. what you want to do. He's going to have his own combat encounter or something. One for the cave, one for town, one I'm for town. I'm going to town. town. Town's good. Town, town. Because it means there's Sebastian. civilization. People there may know what's going on. Sebastian ain't dumb. He's going to go with the safety in numbers. All right, so everyone's going to the town except for Ango the Gablogan. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to find Ango <laughs> the <laughs> well, dead body in that the bet cave. That <laughs> <laughs> we thought. <laughs> All right. I'll zoom out for you guys so you can see this a little clearly. Can we move the Pokemon? No. <laughs> so you guys are heading towards the town, and then we have over here. I'll pull up Ango. Let's go into the cave. <laughs> Let's go with our town group first. This is all taking place at the same time. We need 
small village. It's not going to end well for me, is it? Hey, look, it's Frogman. All right, Frogman, you have just entered the town, and what you see in front of you is three goblins in the center of the town causing mayhem. Let me throw oh everyone else in here. Safety in numbers. <laughs> Safety in numbers. <laughs> Did you head to the town with us? No. No. Um, He's at the goblin cave. I thought one of y'all had balls enough to night vision me. and shit. Are the goblins approximately five feet apart? I don't have a god sponsor. <laughs> the goblins are more than five feet apart right now. Give me one sec to put everybody on the map. Just like immediately. <laughs> Amber and Frogman are on there. Daddy Buster's coming in too. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. 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 Daddy, hurry. Daddy. What the hell oh. even is that? We got Ratma What's the Rat that? King coming in. <laughs> Y'all are about Buster. to fight some goblins. No, we're not. You are. No, you are. No, we are. They're in town. He's, yeah, he has oh, three in the middle yeah, of town. Yeah, which means there's probably something happened. worse waiting for Dre. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I know goblins, they probably, if we kill them, they story. probably drop some booze. Yep. Well, it depends, on what, it depends on what kind of goblins. Are these goblin Slayer goblins? Because well. if so, this might I might be in for a different kind of story. Here's my thought, team. We kill the goblins. We save the townsfolk. Now they're obligated to give us things. Are you writing down your thoughts? No. Okay. She's just thinking, man. That's <laughs> because I'm be only on his. Just so you know, it's <laughs> safe to write them right. your we thoughts can around me because I can't read them. <laughs> <laughs> and Ross. Stares at the notebook and goes, I can't read any of this. I can't read. You don't have to write, you don't have to be cryptic or write in code or anything. Just like do some words in cursive. It'll really throw them off. <laughs> Smash. All right, well, the let us candy. all roll for initiative. A froggy and a chocolate donut. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Roll for initiative. You're going to roll your d20 and then Nap 20. add your dex modifier, yes. which I think on the top of your sheet you should have an initiative number maybe. Yep. Like Some, the, 12. the minus one. Is that what it says? under? Yeah, mine's minus three. So you use minus one from that and give me the dude. number, but give me one sec. Hold on to your number. You're going to write it right now. First encounter. What kind of weapons do I have? Just the dagger? A dagger? What it? did you choose? Dagger? Yeah, you just weapons. have a, two daggers. I have two daggers? Yeah. It's a law and order. Yep, one second. No. Random on now. Jack and Ripper. Oh, yeah, roll. Jack. Can I mulligan? Drake's not in this. <laughs> I'm going his name down. Can I mulligan? I'm going to get it down. No, what are you talking Can I mulligan? No. Let me mulligan. You've played this before, my guy. <laughs> Damn it. That's a low Watch, this is going to be another world where all the townspeople Shit, live in the cave and all the goblins live in town. And I made a good <laughs> choice. All right. It's just empty. Stefan, games. what do you got for? I got a 14. 14? Yeah. Nolan? Five. Five. Annie? 18. Brando? 12. Sean? 20. Jay? Not 20. Yours wasn't that or was it? No? All right. Well, Jay, you're going to be going first here, Woo-hoo. so I will give you the first entrance to town. Sorry, I'll zoom in. Give me one sec. Let me write down everybody's. I should have run the enemy first. Um... Can we converse about the town? You can converse about whatever you feel like. All right. So we... where are you guys from? Oh, <laughs> so where are you guys from? <laughs> we're, we're entering into a battle, man. Get your game face on. Bro, I'm He's always... got to calm his nerves. I always got my game face on. Like, I'm basically... Is like... that why it looks like a puzzle? Bro, bro, it's the first level. Chill out. It's not a big deal. We'll get through it. The first level? What do you think is happening right now? We are in a mythical, faraway land. Well, hey, well, uh, Ratman, you, you got a drum, Baldur's right? Gate three. It's fine. I Baldur's it. what? Yes, I do. What do you think is happening? This is the Tower of so Three. Sat down Can you start busting that three. drum? Yeah, it's fine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sebastian. <laughs> What's Sebastian? Can we get you just completely detached and think this is a drum noise video game. From Ratma. Can we get some mm-hmm. ambient drum noise? For right now. All right. It's just the rats playing the drums for you. Mm-hmm. We're about to go into battle. Oof. Doesn't somebody have a trumpet or something? You're I more than welcome to put your pieces on the board if you want. You guys really yeah. like the, this game, don't you? you? This is how we're going through right now. 
You should have chose a ditch redo as your instrument. Where am I? We got number two is Sean, so I will give Sean the next up. Where's my rat boy? And that that is how we're going. This, I will tell you right now, follows Boulder Gate rules, where if you are blocking somebody, you cannot get past them. Oh, there's my rat king. I understand that this is very tiny path. That's what it is. So it's just tiles, then? That's what it is. Okay, it's tiles. Using jump as a bonus action, uh, are you able to uh, clear everybody? Is everyone able to leapfrog over each other? Some people can. Where are the goblins? Your character, the build, the I'm size a frog of man, dude. I feel like I should totally be. Listen, it's your turn, and you're out in front. Sir. All right. Load up Six these guys. You are up first. What well, you can see right now. I will zoom out just slightly so you can. Well, you're moving us real fast. There's your three goblins. Yeah. yeah. Each right. one of these tiles is five feet. Oh, thank you. you tell me what you want to do. I don't know if you're gonna be able, you're gonna let me do all this stuff in one turn, but so my cantrip uh, magic stone is a bonus action, so I want to cast it on the three pebbles, and then I want to turn into a raven and pick them up and just not not do my next thing but just be in the air. Hold. Where did you get three pebbles from? We're standing on like a fucking dirt path, dude. All right, I will give you. You can. Find three pebbles as a human. As a raven, you can probably hold one in each hand, in each claw. Okay, so I can only. Well, enough to do damage. I mean, but you're also, drop a tiny you're pebble using a bonus like action to percent. use your cantrip, and then you're using another bonus action to turn into a raven. You can't do that. I can't turn into a raven. As your raven's normal? going to be your bonus action. Oh, so I can't do either of these just as my normal action? No. All right. Right. Also, are like each of these tiles up on the screen like five feet or something yes. like that? Okay. All right. I know they're very hard to see, but I will let you know okay. as we move. You'll see. I would like to cast the spell on three pebbles. Okay. Pick them up as a human. Okay. So I'm holding them. They're, and then I want to move forward ten feet, and I would like to... That's ten feet. How, how much movement speed do I have? Total? You have 30 feet total. All right. Hang on. Give me real close. So that's 10 feet right there. That's 15, 20, 25, 30. Give me 25. 25. All right. And then uh, I would like to throw two of the pebbles at the first goblin. Okay. Let's get a uh, roll for hit. And it's going to be a dexterity for your throw. It's really neat that we actually have interactable maps now. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Helpful. I like that a lot. 16? 16. You're going to hit him. All right. What's the damage on it? Um, 1d6 plus my wisdom modifier, which is 3. All right. So a 1, and then for the... It's per pebble. Well, you can only. Th- are you, I'm throwing them in one action. They're pebbles. Well, then you're gonna need to roll for hit on both of them. Let's do the okay. first one first for damage. One plus, plus your three. three is four. All right. All right. Nine. For the hit? No, yeah. you're missing the second one. All right. All right. So you do four damage to the first goblin in front. Here we go. So thick. You're gonna want to. St- Maybe zoom out a little bit if we want this to work with our figures, because every time you move it, it's go- the map. It's going I know. to. It's, that's what I was thinking too. The figures are. All right. We'll center it on you right now. All right. All right. We are. I'm assuming that's the end of your turn with everything. Yeah. All right. We are on. Uh, Sean up next. You're good to write on there. Yeah. Okay. That's why I said you should bring a notebook to take notes. <laughs> and for your inventory spells, everything. Because it's going to be a lot going forward. Can Shall I run up and hide in this bush? Behind? <laughs> well, there's a path of garden. I guess you could go through the garden. Why, why can't I hide in the bush, you know? If you want to get up to the bush, that is a movement of 5, 10, 15, 20. Like right there? No, right where I'm at, over here. Over here, by I can't next see to Jay. Next screen. to Jay. Kitty corner to me. Yeah, kitty corner on the corner. 
Like right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, up a couple. One more. Yeah, right there. 20, yeah. You can get there. How about, like right how about right on the post. corner? Is that still in a bush? Hidden? Right on the corner, like right there? Yeah. Like, I well, think that's just foliage, like grass, not a bush. Yeah. Yeah, you can just be hiding sure. behind Jay. Yeah, so you're fully visible. You've right moved now. 20 feet. You're fully visible. You you have a lamp post, so you can try to get behind. <laughs> but from perspective, I thought that was crazy. like a bush alongside no, the path that I could hide in. Mm-hmm, that's you're just trampling no, flowers. that's just like flowers that those, you're stepping over. Trees. You're just stomping on somebody's nice garden. <laughs> I don't I don't want to do that. Then I thought that's this is horse shit. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I'll lock him in the bed. <laughs> right, what do you want to do? This is war. Damn it. You want to go back to where you were? You're so disoriented you don't notice you're trudging through somebody's floor. Just know, I cannot physically see where you're moving your pieces on the board. Go back to where you first were. Behind that big tree. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, I might as well. All right. So that's 20 feet that you moved. What do you got for me? That's it. All right, you're ending your turn. There. Can I look around? Is there anything else I can see that's not on the map? It's exactly what you can see. <laughs> exactly. Just some trees and foliage. That's about as far as I can go, right? <laughs> yep. Can I go further into these trees? Uh, yeah. All right, send me into the you trees. Still got another and... ten feet of movement, I think. Yeah, send me into them trees. And... Like right there. Or... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Right. I'm going over to that wood building. All right. Sorry, I know I'm moving this a lot. Just it zoom out somewhere you don't need to. Well, if I zoom out, you're. We can't see shit. Yeah. Can you make out anything there? No. Kind of. Yeah. I, feel like I mean, actually, more. kind of. Yeah. yeah. I think that's fine. Right there. That, yeah, that's totally right. good. Uh, this fucking mouse. All right. That's where we're keeping it, though. All right. All right. Next up, we got Annie. What do you want to do? Can I ask two quick questions first? Yep. Okay, so like max movement's 30 feet. Yep. And then if I want to make a ranged attack at some point, is there a maximum you have distance? Your maximum movement. Then you have an action and a bonus action for your turn. Bonus actions are usually like jump, shove, that kind of stuff, unless your skill says you can use it as a bonus action. Action would be an attack or something like that. What's the range on her bow? Her bow, I would assume it's probably at least 60 feet. We can look it up in a player's. Yeah. Are we following player's handbook for like for weapons and weapons, stuff? Yeah. Okay. I would assume you can probably hit him from where And is it a short bow, long bow? Does it say? No, Your bow, say, uh, just a short bow. Okay. Yeah. Should I? I'm gonna. Should I wait on that? Or you think I just? No, I. Just, you could probably get up a little yeah, bit. Different yeah. Now. Can I just shoot one of the goblins? Yeah. <laughs> if Jay was thirty feet, yeah, you're probably almost dead on on the front one. If you want to do that. Yes. All right. Um, I would say from where you're at, you'd need to move slightly up and to the right from, if you want to hit him. Can I go through the grass to do that? Yeah, like, so you can go over up? where Sean's at. Okay. Yeah. So if I... Sorry, this is where we should have been. So yeah, if you want to, like, right there. I can you want to go it. further Sorry. up. This one? Yep, yeah, you're this one. I mean, that's around. fine if I can shoot from there. Like, right here? Yeah, you can definitely shoot from there. Okay. I would say, actually, And then I guess right just there. shoot, like, the first one. Okay. All right. So... You have two different kinds of ways that you can attack with a bow, either normal or long range. The normal range will be 80 feet. Long is up to 320. And if you attack over your normal, so you don't, if you attack over 80, then your attack is rolled at disadvantage. All right, so you're going to want to roll a d20 for your attack. And then add your, I'm pretty sure bow's dex modifier. Yeah. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Sorry, you're missing. Wow. Okay. All right. Do you have any bonus action or anything um, you want to do? Or call it? I don't think I want to... Well, every turn, like, it's just a bonus action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess, yeah, if I can try it. What's your bonus action you do? The thorn. Is it say thing. cast it as a bonus action? That's if you hit yes. somebody, I think, yeah. right? All right, I believe... It says, yeah, then... The, oh, so I can't, like, try again with that. Oh, it does it's it just, say if you hit? The next time you hit a creature with an attack. So, like, this couldn't do anything if I yeah, didn't Yeah, so that hit. would be... You'd want to use that before cast, you attack. It would be like casting okay. it as you're about to attack and power up your weapon. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So you would use right. that and then, then attack right set. after. Yeah. Okay. So it would have been a waste of time because you would have missed anyone. Yeah. Um, all right, we are on to... Stefan. 
So I can move 30 as a move action. I'll just go ahead and upgrade. Why did I do that? Another move action to uh, move. So I'll just move twice. Move 60 feet. Where are you going to? Up to the front, uh, Goblin. I had to think about that for a second. No. Five times 12 is six. Yeah, you're good. So you want to be like right up in front of him? Yep. I'm going to draw right. the sword and wave it threateningly. Right. Is it a long sword? <laughs> Uh, oh, no, so you can use you're a sword and shield, right? Additional movement. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Your sword and shield. Yeah. Yeah, just short sword. Uh, short sword. Yeah. Okay. He's just gonna stand there menacingly. Yep. <laughs> All right, and that's your turn. Yep. Let's go to Brando. Right, man. Radma. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, yeah. So, how far away is are all these goblins from each other? Uh, you've got five, ten, about twenty feet from each other. Okay, from the circumference of each yeah. other. Okay, right on. And how far away am I from the front one? I think that's about ninety feet. I could actually. Okay. Oh my god! Of course, I just fucking did that. I didn't know it was gonna drag the screen. That's my bad. So there's a way to move on up and inspire the squad with some dope drum beats. You could certainly try. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right, where do you want to move? I don't to? have a drum noise I can play, but just imagine that you know. Where would you like to move to? There's a lot of. Dum, 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 dum. Where do you want to move to? <laughs> going to the closest one. I'm just going straight forward and getting closer. So that right Playing there is beats. 25 feet, and then you can't get past Sean right now. Okay, right now. Or I'm move sorry, right yeah, past Frogma, not right. Sean. Frogma. So you're right Frogma, behind. These nuts. You're right behind Frogman. Sorry, Ratma Frogman. Jesus. Frogma. All right. <laughs> You, what do you want to do behind Frogman? Uh, just play some dope beats and inspire the squad. You know? All right. Let's uh, give me give me some body beats. Oh, I'm feeling it. You feeling it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What is what does the inspiration give them? I forget. I don't um, know what your ability does. Yeah. Fuck these goblins up. Yeah. You know, no. What is your ability for you? <laughs> what does <laughs> your ability <laughs> say? <laughs> I'm down. I don't know. No, I don't want to do my Our actual ability. Oh, you're just really playing drums. Yeah, it. I'm just like when you're like a bard almost. All right, almost he's just entertaining you guys. Yep. Yeah, I'm hyping no you guys up. Just yep. entertainment. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, yeah, this shit's dope. It's like the <laughs> Civil War. He's, <laughs> he's a drummer boy. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right. First goblin is going to attack Stefan over here. Let me just pull up. Sorry. We got... And I have no idea what my shield does. I got to go too, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. It's not your turn yet. All right. Yeah, patient. <laughs> the goblins already attacked him. Stefan, what do we got no, for an AC? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter your hit. <laughs> doesn't matter your hit. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, you do have a shield, so you do have more AC. I forgot about that. Um, you are getting hit for five slashing damage. Okay, not great. Not loving that. Then we got the two in the back. We're going to have one shooting at Frogman over here. He's definitely hitting you. What? For five piercing damage. Oh, Ooh. fuck. I only have one health left. You guys seem high already. <laughs> um, and then the other one is going to... You know, let's shoot at Ratma for, because he's back there. And he, see, he hears those dope beats. Yeah. <laughs> What's your AC? I remember. It's very low, I think. Seven. Yep, five piercing damage to you, my guy. Okay, cool. I'm All right, let's dead. move on to uh, Nolan. What do we got? All right, I uh, I heal. Right Who are you on. healing? You mean Daddy? Yeah. Who are you uh, healing, Daddy? Yeah. I'll say thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> May I please have another Daddy? <laughs> I'm healing uh, Riviera. Rivera Klein. Rivera. All right. All right, go ahead and roll for your heal. D six. Wait, who needs it more, him or Frog I, Probably, probably yeah. Frogman, but... Yeah. Frog yeah. Man. I only have Frog one Mom. health. Daddy doesn't What's like that? Frog. I only have one health. Yeah, What's the he range on your heal? More seriously, he's trying to kill no, the No, does it list a We're all, so trying, to We're all trying to kill the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Jay's going to do. Does We're it working together. A, does it list a range he's on your He's the only heel? one who's done damage 30, so 30 far. Feet, 30 feet. <laughs> so he can move up closer. You're going to need to move up slightly. All right, I move up and then do it. Frogman might want to back up a few feet. Sorry, you're on the oh. wrong part of the map. <laughs> Why would I let me fucking you're drag you? You're all blinded. You? You're good. I'll get it. 
I'm fucking this up. There we go. It's because of the walls. All right, we'll start you right here. If you want to move up, two, three. Uh, well, you can get up to about there blocking. All right. You can go to the bush, too. They don't have to be in line. This is the road right now. Okay. <laughs> Staying in the back. <laughs> I love this. Staying in the lane, Walker. Staying in the lane. <laughs> All right, and you've healed Rivera Klein for whatever you rolled on your D6? Yeah. I you for one. one. Wow. He's <laughs> healthy as fuck now. All right, hey, let's I'm move on to... Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, that was a cantrip, I think. Was that your cantrip? No. 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 I think you've used... All right, Jay, what do you want to do? Right? Yes. I would right. like to turn into anymore. a raven, and I can fly 50 cantrip, feet though. as a raven, and I want to go way over up and diagonal to the right. You want to go, like, back here? Like, kind of land probably on that building's roof more over to my right than... Like, over on this building? Yeah, just drag me over so I can see where I'm landing. All right, I got you. That's cool how like they give here? you vision, too. Yeah, but, like, way the fuck over here. Yeah. Sorry, the way the lights are, landing on a roof is almost damn near impossible to be able to see where they're at, so I'll have to just take off the vision thing. Yeah, that should give you full yeah. vision on the roof. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. All right. Um, and what do you do from there? Um, that's a bonus action, and so I would like to hide with my main action. <laughs> I've one health, man. This is what's going on. Hide's down. usually like exclusively a bonus action, but I, I will give it to you because I see no reason. Not First encounter, it. one health. All right, let's go to Sean. You're over here, my guy. Yeah, slink me through th that brown door. You want to go to the left? Yeah. As far up as... It is 30 feet right there. Yeah, take me there, baby. All right. Well, that's your turn. I love you just ignoring the goblins and going <laughs> all the way. He's trying to loot. All right, let's go I'm to... trying to uh, skirt around strategically so I can get Annie, that extra 1d6 while you You're guys right are here. distracting them. I Lincoln. just want to try attacking again, I think. You want to go for yeah. an attack? I don't want to cast this yet because it's. I you also. Like, this is the next I should point time, out so because Nolan has it. a hard time understanding this sometimes. Your AoEs will hit your other team members. That's what I'm. That's why yes. I don't want to because uh, there's someone right next is to me. You see how she grasped that right away? But does your spell say. I'm looking at you. Or does it say. I'm looking at you. Poison spray and shit. Five feet away. Yep, it would hurt your allies. All right. Yeah, and it's like even if they. I run my lane. All right, why don't you roll for a hit for me? Still five points, so yep. I don't want to. Oh no, it wasn't Jackie Moon that you 20? killed. Yep. Moonbeam. That Every was time it'll be a d20. Um, and then. Plus your dex modifier. Dex fifteen. Fifteen. Sorry, you don't hit him. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> this is I mean. Level one goblins. You're. You're so These short. goblins are yoked. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to do? No. No. All right. Let's go to. So they've either got 15 Stephen. or 16 AC. All right. Uh, I'm going to attack with the sword. All right. Let's roll the hit. Nine. So cool. Nine. Nah, you're missing. Anything else? <laughs> Uh, I guess if it's a bonus I didn't action, the AC was gonna be so high. I, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and shove him with the shield. You made it so high. That's what happened, man. Five. <laughs> Five? But don't say you didn't realize it. I'm not even no. regretting going to the cave for my sake. I'm regretting it for theirs. You're now. gonna die. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just leave the cave then? Yeah, I would probably. <laughs> Yeah, oh, alone. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the cave for the. This is what I said when I made the maps, and I was like, maybe I put too many monsters in this. And I was like, no, there's seven of them. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you remember what happened last time? We won't bonuses. be fine. Can I, last can I time you guys were too back towards the town mid combat. I have no problem with that. Lump yeah. me in there whenever you feel. I'll, uh, I'll I, bring I, in. I'll, 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 I'll roll for my initiative now. Just lump you want to shove him? I try. Hold up, hold up. Five. Nah, you're not shoving. Why doesn't Stefan have a profit? Bonus. He does. I just didn't write it down. It's two. Everybody knows. Does anybody oh. have any initiative bonuses? He didn't bonuses? count that. So I think he hits. Right? No. Oh. Uh, she might have. If she didn't ask for two, she would have. True. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Did you add your So bonuses? sorry. The proficiency bonus, if you're proficient in a weapon, you get a bonus of two. 
And yes, you chose your sponsor, so everybody should have a two with their proficiency with their weapon. So it does a so yes, you would have hit with that weapon. Let's so go, go ahead and roll for damage. I forgot about proficiency. Let's go. Twenty for damage too. Yeah. No. See, your damage with a short bow Love is. That. Will somebody look that up real quick? What was it? Damage short bow damage. Bow? Amber. Uh, I thought it was a D six. Still, it's probably gonna be a D six. C three. PPO or whatever, just save four rounds. <laughs> damage D six piercing. D six. <laughs> roll a D six, babe. Also, What's the difference between piercing damage and any? It's, just it's the, name the of it? type of damage it is. So if somebody has resistance to some type, then it might do less damage. Yeah. So like, say somebody's in a big suit of armor, they'll probably have a lot of crushing damage, but D6 piercing damage. Is, will yeah, be good. normal dice with six sides. So <laughs> Five. Five. Five damage. All right, babe. Tell me how it goes down. And, uh, you just killed that. Tell me how he dies. The, yeah. What? Tell me what happens Explain when you shoot this and he dies. dies. Yeah. However you. When die. I when I give the signal of tell me how it happens, it <laughs> means you kill I'm standing in it. the grass. I take my bow, I shoot the bow, mm -hmm. it hits the goblin in the forehead. And he just he goes down. Simple enough. All right, there simple, it goes. simple <laughs> enough. Right One down goblin down shot. over here, Jess. Whenever he perishes. I don't know so when he'll explode. <laughs> he, like, he turns to dust. <laughs> Hold on one sec. <laughs> one goblin down. I don't Woo! know when you'll want to add me to, <laughs> into the combat. I just start playing my drums do, harder. I'm just fucking it. Okay. Just beat my drums. Hold on, I need to... What are all this? How many sides are all of these? Yeah, I got I got a twenty and six. I don't know. All right, I'm assuming so your turn's done. <laughs> yes. Okay, 12. let's go to Eight. Stefan. Stefan. What are you doing there, bud? You're out in front of everybody. Yes. I th just got done attacking him. Is it back to me already? Did I go out of turn or something? You might have. That's well, I, I, I went as bad. It'd be Brando Swayze now. Okay. Yeah, I'm blind. sorry. It went, Sean went and he moved up to the door. Then Annie should have gone, then Stefan, but I went out of turn. No, sorry. We went the right way, remember, and then we just I didn't back do the proficiency. Didn't she didn't yeah. So now we're on. You underestimate me. Brando, yes. You yeah, underestimate all right. So my how far away are the other two now that are left? You are about. I'll just move your character. I want to attack now. someone. Or be able to use my you can't ability. get around Stefan right now. Well, fuck you. You're stuck behind to, him. I'm left to what? Dude, you can move up to about here. 15 feet and you're right next to him. I have Why a can't... rapier or I can do. That's how it went down, man. Why can't he go through the grass? You know, I'm just going to give you the garden, yeah, because I <laughs> gave it to you guys, <laughs> didn't I? All right, off. so that's 15 feet, 20, 25, 30 <laughs> feet to get you right there. <laughs> Wait, I can't see very well right right there. God damn it. I keep moving this shit. Yeah, right that one right there. And then where's a the goblin? How far away is he? Like 15? Right there. 15 he feet away? 5, 10, 15. Yeah, about 15 to 20 feet. Okay. Um, that means I can't use my ability, and I can't attack with my rapier. So what am I left to? Just literally beat on my drum. Play drum so. and... Inspire Stefan. <laughs> yeah, I'll inspire Stefan. You want to use your ability or no? No, because that's enemies that come within. All right, well then you're just playing it. the drums, entertaining them. I guess I will use it because it's cooldown of one day. Yeah. How far away? I'm 15 feet, so if he tries to come up to me, is he just using a bow? Or yeah, both he... of them have bows out right now. All right, so he's not gonna come close to me then. So playing my, doing my ability. All right, what's pointless. your ability do? Uh, they are the enemies that come in contact with you within 10 feet become blinded. All right. Duration two turns. So you're just but... setting up a blind right there for any enemy that comes in. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll do that, but that's a cooldown on one day, and how long will a day be? It's a level a day? You no, see? a day could be just spending the night in town. Okay. Right on. Depends on what happens. Okay. Um, well, uh, no, I'm going to save my ability. No. Right. Probably going down, but that's okay. Ben and Jerry will never leave me. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably eat you when you die. Probably. Let's I move on to our enemies. Life. First one <laughs> is like, going to wish. shoot at Ratma over here. How much health do you have left? Three left. Yeah, I know. It's not looking good. <laughs> Tracy. I like that look. Seven. Seven. Maybe he shouldn't shoot at Ratma yet. He at Ratma. Is he shooting at Ratma? Three downs, right? Why every time? Yeah, true. You may have to fudge that. You're down. <laughs> <laughs> Ben and Jerry, come console me. <laughs> All right, so Ratma goes down, and the other one's going to be shooting at Rivera. Okay. What's your AC? Uh, since I have no other armor on, 12. All right, he's hitting you for five. What about your shield? That is with the shield on. The shields give two, so I'm at 12. Wow. 
And uh, let's go over to Nolan. All right. Well, uh, you are I'm right gonna, over here. I'm gonna run out in front of these fools. All right. You want to just keep running up straight? Where's the goblins? Over here. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Right there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty feet to get up right behind Rivera. Yeah, and then Wonka, could you help me look up poison spray cantrip? If you use poison spray, you have two of your teammates right in front of you. No, I ran up past them. That's what I just said. To get past them, you're 20 feet right now. That's 25, 30 feet to get yeah. next to them. So you're right next to them right now. Yeah, so uh, I'm not going to hit them. Is spray a line? If it's a line, it's fine. That's true. We should look up poison spray real quick. Is it a, I, I assumed it was a cone as well. You just assume. Yeah. Well, that's no, usually it, it is a cone. Usually, if you're doing a poison spray, it's like hey, a burst out. Poison isn't lumber. <laughs> that's true. Okay. All right. This is smart. Don't just assume. It, astute observation. Don't assume that it's a cone. <laughs> All right. Come on now. All right, Pac-Man, ready your pencil. I'm readying. Range ten feet. Damn it. A creature you can see within range. You extend your hand toward the creature you can see within range and, a, and project a puff of nauseous, nauseous gas from your palm. See, it's a puff. The and I reach out must exceed 10 a feet. Constitution saving throw or take 1d12 poison damage. Oh. All right, can you say the last part? The creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 poison damage. It does not say anything about it being a cone. So, so no, it said I reach out my hand it's 10 feet. I'm sorry, you reach out your hand 10 feet? That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Michael Jordan over here. Watch Don't it. See. Go, go, Space Gadget, Jam extend shit. arms. Read it out again, Wonka, will you? My guy, you the are... The fumes go out 10 it's feet. Like, let, me just, like, let me just give you right now 5, 10, 15, 20 feet from the goblin. So no, I'm not. I'm right here. Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> you thought you were a bear Klein? <laughs> and the range is ten feet. And the puff of smoke goes out ten feet, not your hand. Yes, no. It's the puff of did, you, did you just say did you actually think your hand extended ten feet? I think <laughs> I, <laughs> You know what? I assumed. Yeah, old <laughs> it's not wood, uh, man. <laughs> Alright, so I, I didn't even get half is. of that. I wrote gibberish. But uh <laughs> range ten feet, saving throw, con saving throw. Yeah. And then if not D12. Listen, as far as it is right now, you cannot use that cantrip from where you're at. But so, it is not. What do you want to do? It's, it's a single target. Single target. Yeah. Understood. That's good for me. What do you want to do? What's that? What do you want to do? I almost want to back up, but I already use all my movement. You use 30 right? feet to get forward. All right, well, then I'm going to uh, like lean over to Ratma, who's I'm like down, dead. I'm, you know? I'm, just, I'm just trying to. Hang he's about on 10 feet away from you right now. I'm just. Uh, Ratma? Yeah. All right, he's right next to me. He's yeah. like 12 feet away from you, to be exact. All right, Ugh. I'm going to throw... Why? Um, what are you throwing at me? I'm on the ground already. I'm going to throw my, my staff, oh my God. right? And okay. see if these goblins catch it. That's a bad idea. Like, like, I see no problem. Let's do it. Like I, <laughs> no, no, no. I think that are they're going like to think that it's like... I th yeah, no, no, no. I'm not going to javelin. I'm going to throw it like, oh, I'm injured, you know, like... I surrender, and they're gonna pick it up. Hopefully, these are war crimes. Okay. You can't do that. I see, yeah, let's Fake do. Surrender. I got a fourteen plus dex my, modifier my proficiency and my dex. Yep. I think the Geneva Convention exists in this university. Thank God. One, uh, fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. No, 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 no. Seventeen. Seventeen. Profic proficiency, but plus dex. Yeah. Seventeen. Are right, you're hitting them with your staff? But we'll just. We'll As you're trying to surrender, you throw. We'll give it. it a, we'll give him two damage to, from your staff hitting them. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, listen. Yeah, roll a d4 for me. No, no. He's, no. He's Let me say say one more thing. From... Um, the the snake symbolizes the snake bite, which was the worst kind of disease someone could have in the antiquity and very difficult to cure. Are you trying to get at the staff to bite? I understand what However, he's trying to go for. Him. It's not gonna work. No. That's not your staff. That's not how it works. <laughs> Well, I figured if I'm the only one that can uh, harness the power to be um, 
like not ill from this staff, then if they pick it up or it even touches them, they're gonna get seriously ill. Do me Ill. a favor. So I would like damage over time. I'd like dots. Roll a d4 for okay. me. Okay. For dots. Also. Four. Four damage. Are you nailing this guy in the head of your staff <laughs> for four damage? Also, <laughs> you're, Nolan, the you're not immune to snake bites, but your god is. All right. Right. And the staff just kind of tumbles to the ground in front of him, and you have no weapon now. Oh, he's going to He's just like <laughs> javelin this I thing. Know. Expert <laughs> proficiency. All right, let's move on to... Uh, <laughs> I took this poor guy's eye out. <laughs> let's go. Drake, you have entered the combat. Why not? Okay, we'll cool. put you at eight. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, I gave it my best shot, guys. <laughs> put you in here. Nice. A plus for creativity. You Nolan. damn near put him down. Yeah, I was trying to be resourceful. Is the goblin's <laughs> HP on five? No. You put your eye out, kid. I can't tell you the HP. What? It's not you, you, can, you can deduce it from the math that you do from yeah, killing other goblins, I, but you can't ask. I thought mine was five. Did anyone else remember? Did it take any other damage before you ever hit it? Yeah, I hit it for four damage. So it has uh -huh. nine or less health. It's five! It's five! All right, Drake, <laughs> I'm putting you right where you see yourself on the map right here. Okay. Can't what do you want to do? Speak. All right, so I've got 30 movement, so I'm going to go, I guess just put me as far forward as you can. Right there. Okay. And then, yeah, both those goblins are out of range. Um, I guess I'll take an additional movement, All right. and I'll put myself... Um, now, keep in mind, there's no way you're getting past this line right here. Okay, gotcha. Guys gotcha. You gotcha. could try to help Ratma, but you are using... It would be helpful. Wait. Using a bonus action for your additional movement. It would just be the normal action, right? You it would take one action, action yeah. to help him. Yeah, yes. no, so I'm sacrificing that action to move, I guess, right behind Ratma, and then I'll just have to chill. All right, and then you're going to get staring him up. <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah, Save yeah, him yeah, from so dying. So bonus action to stabilize. All right, you have one health on the ground dying right now. You can't actually do anything, but you're on the ground. Yeah, stabilize. Yeah. Hey, you're living. Right. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, I feel like crawl that. to this job. Jay, what are we doing? Frogma is. I have one oh, more up on the enchanted roof, right? pebble, and I would like to fly over top of the archer on the right. Cross Where'd you get this enchanted pebble from? I enchanted three of them at once, only threw two when I first did it. But then you flew up onto a roof, and you never told me you were grabbing a pebble. I was still holding it. Yeah, he gets three. It was, when he it was but I. So how about claw, claw, you mouth? You enchanted three pebbles. You grabbed He's two of them and threw them at the guys. No, and I you... said I picked up three of them, and then I said I throw two. Your call. I, I heard response. you picked up two and threw it at a guy, then you, you turned into a raven and, and went at you. are telling me in your hand you turned into a raven and it stayed in you the said, claw? No, you said, yeah. You got his beak. Yeah. He you three. said that I could only I could hold three. No, just because you guys are taking a lot of damage, and this is only the first battle of what is going to be a lot on this floor, I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> I think that that is, this is going to be a long floor. I think. Rules. So are you? Just so like you thought they just picked two off the ground, and threw those, and left the third enchanted pebble on the ground before he left? Yeah, and then okay. just turned into a bird and flew off. <laughs> That's why I was like, where did that third pebble come from? I think he, I think he could hold it. I You're think fine. You've got a third one, pebble in your hand. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I am flying from the rooftop I'm on now to okay. the one over in he's the top bomb left. This guy. And on my way, I'm going to drop it. What's your flight? 50 feet. Oh, wow. Into the top left? I don't know if you're going to make it that far. I can, I can just hop across then. You want to go like this way? Or you want to go just straight left? Um... If you'll let me make it all the way to the other building, I'll go straight That left. is 50 feet right there. Oh. Uh, all right. Um, Could he just fly and drop it and fly back? Yeah. Well, can I make it if I just fly, <laughs> like dive bomb him kind Every of? Every diagonal. As a crow flies. Well, every other. Yeah, you right. have to go. Come on. So every diagonal movement would be 10 feet. So that right there would be about 20 feet. 25-ish. Yeah, I have 50 feet of movement yep. speed. So, so yeah, you could make it perfectly there and back All if right. you wanted to get that guy. All right. I'm going to throw it. <laughs> you, you're going to throw it? You're going to more like gonna drop, drop it and it, let yeah. the speed hit him? Okay. Is you know, I'm fine with that. Is that Daddy already damaged on this side? No, Daddy did the one on the left. I don't like talking like this. <laughs> we need to call him Buster. We can't nope. call him Daddy. Right. Nope. It's too funny. Uh, but Daddy. It is, it is canonically Daddy. Jay, I will even give you advantage since you hit on the rooftop and he didn't see you coming. Sweet. 
15 plus... Advantage guy. Yeah, all right. It's a roll twice. 16 plus... Two. You're hitting him. You're good. Uh, it's uh. No, you're good. You're hitting him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Crazy, dude. Give me the damage um, and on it's, it. Um, D6 plus three. Seven. Tell me how it goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm flying. And uh, in true duck style, <laughs> I dropped this enchanted pebble on it. The incantation makes it uh, drop even faster than it generally would, and it pretty much just goes straight through this guy's body and leaves a little small crater below, and he just falls over. Jesus. I like it. All right, that gets that, and you're crater. flying back to your perch. Yes. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's go on to Sean. What I go into the building. What's in the building? You're going into the building? Oh yeah. Which one is this? Well, I know that one. We got armor, potion, or whatever. Let me see. Uh, get real awkward real quick if there happens to be a there. goblin shopkeeper in there, and we're just killing the, <laughs> the city guard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go that city. This will be the weapon. Can you just pass my brother out on the All street? Right. <laughs> hey, welcome to welcome so to it's Five feet Venture. up to. Uh, does it depend? Does he does he have a hole in, in his body and a crater underneath him? <laughs> if so, yes. Uh, I'm just gonna keep Jay's piece here because it's easier. So that's your piece right there. This right. is what you're seeing as you enter five feet into the building. What do you want to do? I'm going straight up five feet. I'm looking around. That's another five feet right there. Got yeah, five more feet. That's another five feet. That's, That's so 20 feet small. So far. That that building was not that long Listen, to the this tiles is what, outside. This is what I'm giving you in the middle you of battle. You Pokemon. Yeah, dude. <laughs> if you weren't in the middle of the battle, the whole building's lit up. I don't give a shit. I was hoping to cut through this building. There's no back door to this building. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> no. That was my whole There's plan no the whole back, time. There's no back doors to any of these buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Like I shouldn't to tell you that, that but there's you know, no back. You know what? I'm gonna. I want to go as far forward as I can to find whatever shit you don't want me to find. Then that's thirty feet. Damn weapons to the left. I kind of want to go that way. All right. Mm, that's all Next turn. Do, Next turn, I'm going to those weapons. You got a bonus action to jump, though, don't you? Oh, yeah. Can, I, yeah, I can jump, though. Right? Yeah, you got a bonus Do you want to use your bonus to action to either jump or move? Could you imagine this can mad I, lad can in a building? Can I jump just... towards those weapons? How far do I go? <laughs> um, I don't remember how far a jump would go. You 15. It's true. If you want to dash and move another 30. I thought 15 yeah, is good. Yeah, I want to dash to that weapon rack. All right. Ooh. Holy shit, there's a lot of weapon racks. Yeah, the one to the left, though. That's about 30-ish in this range. You're just going to walk out carrying 30 yeah, swords. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> what are you doing? Can I loot that shit? No, well, we'll there's, this, there's this lady behind the counter you see here. <laughs> she starts grabbing it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Well, also, you said at the beginning that... We're fighting uh, we goblins outside. Weapon, I just want to grab yeah. something and run. Managing a weapon shop. You are <laughs> also <laughs> sponsored by so the dagger. Excuse me. Person. Yeah, you can't use any other weapons. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, let's go back to our this other guys, and we're shit. on to Annie. So I'm not a fan. Um, it just adds extra momentum on each punch. Already not a fan. I, don't, I feel like I'm Did probably... Anyone? I give this campaign I know, the whole map's right fucked right now. Right now. This guy's Let's dead. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, this one's Get, dead. Get, be gone. All right, you are exactly. right here. I think I, can I still hit that guy? That's like, that can't be 80. You have yeah. 360 feet. feet that's, that's true. That's true. That's but if true. she wants to go to over 80. Yeah, yeah I'd rather outside. try with the Fucking normal. Bullshit. Well, Dude, I can move also. Yeah, um, and 80 feet's a pretty good range. I guess, attack. can you just move me forward a few? It's about so to the rest. 60 feet from you, I think. Okay. So she can just attack with a normal attack. You could them. totally attack yeah, yeah, yeah. from here. I will do that. All right. Roll for it. Hmm. Proficiency and dex added to it. So hmm. four, I think. Ten. Ten. No. What's your dex modifier? Minus one. Oh. All right. One added to on that roll? Ten. Nah. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Stefan, I think. Yeah. All right. I will move up 
it looks like 20 feet, and I'll swing the sword at the That's uh, right there. goblin. All right. That's going to be an 11. An 11? Those are cool. Nah. All right. <laughs> Let's go to Brando, who is dying on the ground, so we're going... I got stabilized last time. You did get I stabilized. To... I don't remember. It's been too long since I've done a death saving throw shit, but you were stabilized, so you do have one health now. You can get up and move around, I guess. Well, fuck, dude. There's not a ton I can do. Is there any... Is the goblin's close to me now, right? He is within, I would say, 15 feet of you, at least. All right, I'm going to move within range of this, and I'm going to use my ability, Storm Trumpet. Burr, burr. This is right on the edge. You want to do this, or you want to get closer? Uh, I want to get, I want to get like within enough feet, feet to attack him with my my rapier too. I want to stab yeah, this him. would this would be about it. Is my ability something that I can use while also using an action, or is that my main action that I use for that that turn? What's your abilities? Does it say as a bonus action or? No, it just says just ability storm trumpet. That'd be a that normal, that'd be a normal action then. Yeah, normally it's like unless it dictates it's a bonus action, it'd just okay. be an action. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and just hype up the crowd. So he's blinded for no, two, no. Two, two turns. Um, just it's only enemies too, so I won't blind them. Yep. Cool. And um, yeah, so we're you just gonna blind this son of a bitch, and I'm just gonna. Be I'm assuming he drum. has to make. Does it say he has to make any roll or anything? No, it doesn't say. Just blinded. Do you have little rat pals jump no between each that. different drum to help like add to the beat? Yeah, yeah. Ben and Jerry are like That's just fucking bouncing awesome. around. So it's like you have five hands essentially. Yeah. Yeah, we've we got a show going on. <laughs> All right, and after Brando, we got our enemy who is blinded right now. And, so. and he should be panicked because uh, he, all he's hearing is drum beats. And I'm gonna blinded. have him move the fuck away from you, because <laughs> that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna move back quite a distance from you, and he's going to shoot at Rivera because he's the first one he could see. I thought he was blind. He got out of the blindness. He walked as far away from the blindness as he could. And so it's a cloud? Yeah, it's like a circular, as long as they're within, what is it, 10 feet? Brandon? Yeah, 10 feet. Yeah. Which is kind of small. Which, he's blinded, but if he runs away from it, and he's an archer, so he doesn't need to be up close. So He's literally the only person he should yeah, be blind against. Yeah, that's ability sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was all there? melee guys, it would make sense, but as an archer, he can just run away from it and go back to shooting. It adds up. Matt, how much health you got left over there? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> it's your lucky day. I don't think he's hitting you. What's your AC? It's 12. Ooh, you're good. He missed you. All right. Yeah, Let's did. go over to Drake. <laughs> uh, or, or I'm sorry. No, my bad. Daddy. <clears throat> no, we're, right. we're doing a hard stop at three, so we're not taking a break when we got 45 left. Or 45. I was just wondering. All good. Oh. I'm going to run up to the goblin. Do you want to pick up your spell I don't, first? You're not making it to the goblin unless you use an action and a, da or a dash with your movements. All right, let me go grab my staff. Yeah. <laughs> so you're moving up to the goblin. still has an eyeball attached to it. <laughs> so 20 feet, and you pick up your staff, which I'm... It's going to be your bonus action is picking it up, because I thought that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but it worked. You executed it so well. It, it worked, worked, but it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not much. I'm more of like a guy that just like I'm a wild card. All right, that was your 20 feet. You got your staff back. What do you want to do? Um, how far am I from the goblin? About another 15 to 20 feet. Oh, 15 to 20 feet. All right. Well, um, I just I yell over to Ratma. I'm like, mm -hmm. hit that drum. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Drake. Uh, isn't who's wait? Who rolled the nat twenty on this initiative? Because I rolled eighteen. So yeah, so it goes yeah. back to. No, you're good. Trust me. Okay. I put him, I put All right, so I'm going to, I guess, where run as close you? to that guy as I can. Yeah, where did I even put you? You put me right behind Frogma. Oh, yeah, because he has to stand up. Oh, you're right there, yeah. It's hard to see you. Yep, so move me as close as possible as you can over to that goblin. That's your 30 feet right there. All right, cool. So now yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to attack at him ranged. Right. I have a ranged distance of 20 feet. 
You're going to throw your... Uh, or right? I can throw them long at 80 feet, but I'm going to throw both these boys. All right, let's roll for hit on both of them. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a 21 and a nat 20. <laughs> All right, you're hitting with crit. I'm just going to... Yeah, tell me how it goes down, because there's no way you couldn't do enough damage. All right, so this wasn't the guy who already got javelined, right? So he has both of his eyes still? This is the guy who got hit on the top of the head with the staff. <laughs> it wasn't oh. much of a javelin. It just caught okay. him. In just, <laughs> just out of nowhere, no well, one threw his staff. All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to assume he still has an eye, that it didn't quite knock it out. But I'm going to throw both the daggers, and as the daggers go, they're going to hit in both of the sockets. They're right. going to reappear back in my hands with both of the eyeballs still attached to the daggers. All right, very nice, very yes. nice. And that is our battle. All right, I appear late, and I still got killed. What's going on in that? Place? All right, we're going over to the weapon <laughs> shop. Fucking bullshit! You can only move five feet first. You yeah, I would like 60. to transform and follow him. You just follow fucked me there. We're we're at the weapon shop first. You're at the clerk right now. What's yeah. going on? What's going on? Uh, what's up, clerk? What you got? You you need to be careful. There's goblins outside. Yeah, they're dead. People already took care of it. Some. Jackass limited my movement while I was going slow mo through your goo shop here. <laughs> I don't know what any of those words meant. <laughs> so he like did. Did you save us from the goblin? Yeah, yeah, it's oh. all set up. It's oh my! Uh, well, thank you. So he's like breaking yeah. the fourth wall unintentionally throughout so, this. Entire Sebastian <laughs> took care of the more. Also, in so, the third person. So what I do you it. what do you have for Sebastian? What, what do I have for you? What What do you mean? I run a weapon shop if you have gold. I, I just took care of your goblin problem. You know, Sebastian needs something for his efforts. Didn't take care of my <laughs> <own> problem. <laughs> I, Sebastian's also a plumber if you got some uh, dusty pipes or, I mean, clogged pipes you need to uh, take care of. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, wow. Ratma died. I'd like to uh, roll good. <laughs> you want to roll for <laughs> Yeah, why not? Let's hit it. <laughs> He's trying to get all. Is he trying to find out of seduction right I now? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm I'm just being on my. You need a. Uh, I had to let's give you. Let's give you a thirteen or over. No, I got a ten. Oh, no, just. Do I am a her. married woman. <laughs> <laughs> just, look, look. Your husband got killed by the goblin. Sebastian saw what? his head outside. I mean, <laughs> now you're a grieving widow. Fuck. I, don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> Do I, I uh, go grab it? Yeah, morning. go grab it. Are you <laughs> gaslighting me right now? Discount. We saved your town. I, sir, I'm not giving you anything. Well, what do you got for sale? I Weapons, if you have gold. What kind of weapons you got? Everything you can see in front of you. Are you blind? <laughs> yeah, but like, are there any special weapons here? Uh, special weapons? Yeah. What is, what is I don't see the stat that? description pull up when I look at it. <laughs> What's them? a special yeah, weapon? Yeah. Like, and there's something wrong like something. Man, some, these oh, are so you, dumb. I got animals. you. I could give you like a piece of wood if you're looking for somebody that's like slow to swing a weapon. <laughs> uh, you seem like one of those. Do you want a piece of wood? Should I jingle something shiny in front of you? Yes, yeah, so about 50k gold. <laughs> 50k gold? That's that's what it costs what is for this my, me and my man to take speaking? care of your goblin problem, oh lady. What's a K? You owe me 50,000 gold. 50,000? Yeah. Or Sir. you can equip... <laughs> Sir, I've never seen that much money in my life. Or <laughs> <in the street. laughs> you can equip Sebastian and his crew with a bunch of weapons from your shop that we'll call that fair and square, or 50,000 gold. I, I feel like... What what weapon are you using right now? I got a dagger. You got a dagger? Can I see your dagger? Sure, here you go. And she looks at your dagger and goes, this is about as good as quality as anything I make in my shop. Okay. And then I take my other dagger and I stab her in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> roll for damage. Or roll for attack. <sighs> All right, he is, he is a serial killer, isn't he? Yeah. That was Spots a four. about that. Women just piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> in conversation. Oh my god. In game. In game. What is it? In game. In game. Nah, I'm not, not him. If you ever say anything bad, just say in game. I reached over and I just stabbed her right in the eye. Yeah, it's a You know, it's a surprise. Give me an advantage roll. Oh. Well, and sneak attacking, too. Nat 20. 
Wow. Hey, you're critting her. I'm just fucking <laughs> cracking fucking her on the it. fucking it was, head. It was a Roll for damn. Like uh, ten. Nah, nine, nine. Her. <laughs> Is that with your proficiency and your dex bonus? I grab my other dagger back and I try to stab her in the other eye. <laughs> Roll for hit. You did this to your fucking You guys self. are going to die in the first challenge. <laughs> I have one health. No, no, no. No advantage on this one. Oh, yeah. No advantage. That was 11. Your advantage was on the first one. She saw it coming on the second. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't nah, see you're me missing coming again. to steal this But she one. didn't expect him to swing again. <laughs> All right, Sean DZ. It's time for you to get attacked. I'm fine oh, with that. Hell. <laughs> and now she just yeah, master rogue. She just her. buffs the fuck up and one shots you. It's okay. Part of me hopes to die. Jesus. If this is how the campaign's gonna be going. What do you mean you did this? I walk into a building and I can't move. That's you bullshit. Group, you were bro. in combat. I was trying to sneak around because he wouldn't give me a bush to hide in. Now you understand little strategy. Why I was so so little strategy. So little right strategy here. there, Drake. So, so you're sneak better. around, and flank the guy, stab so, him, so get the extra D six. No, so no, no back door was. It's level wrong. one. We don't need no all back that. door was found. No. You even said Wait, it's level one, one, dude. You're taking this Drake. too seriously. Or uh, what's your guy's name? Ango the Gablogian. Ango, Ango. All right. <laughs> Sebastian Sean just Jesus. works 60 What's hours, What's your AC? Bro. Stab him. He works 60 Eleven. hours. <laughs> You're taking six damage, my guy. He's a she plumber stabs from a trident in you. Okay. Do you know anything about plumbers your turn. from I Milwaukee? I stab her back. <laughs> her a piece of shit. Roll Whoa. for hit. 11. 11? Nah. Nah. <laughs> no one's it. All right, back to our turn. Nobody said anything. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> That one. What did I put her strength in? If you do anything more than one, I'm dead. What would you say your AC was? 11. Nah, she's missing you on that one. You're going to go back to your turn? Yeah, I'm going to go and stab a dagger right in her vagine. Keep oh, trying. Oh, God. <laughs> right in the vagine. Nobody's saying anything. I'm just going to keep rolling. I mean, uh, it didn't happen. What are, what is she had a gaping hole. Nobody like, said anything. I'm going to let it keep going until somebody I just, walks in. I don't in. even know. Yeah, I'm just watching like, this go Realistically, down. Yeah, some, like, You're all some outside. Portion, right, some portion of this I would have happened while we were doing whatever we were doing. I uh -huh. was waiting for somebody to say I had I would have been able to go happened. into the building and back out of the building in right. one turn. Jay's coming in as a raven, apparently. Mm -hmm. Jay, you a roll for initiative. I just want to start knocking shit off the, the, the shelves. The building is the equivalent of 15. All right, while well, you're knocking shit off the shelves, what do you got here? Did you I'm going to come in, hands? but I'm not entering combat. I'm just walking in. I'm like, what's All going right. on here? Did you roll for your hits? Oh, I, she had a gaping machine. It, it went, whoosh, whoosh, both oh of them God. just missed everything. All right, we're back to attacking Sean again. <laughs> and he's just like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> just waiting for my turn, man. No, she's missing again. Keep going. Yeah, the Raven is just knocking shit down. You're not the in shop. combat, so you can technically do whatever. 19 for the first one. You're combat. hitting on that one. Um, do you want to try to enter this combat? No, the fuck I don't. Okay, then yeah. What's the dagger? D6? Sit there and just I, wait. You're going to have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure. I'm not looking it up. I've got We're plans. Gonna do I'm D6. ready to set back outside. All right, two. Two. <laughs> you only hit her once. What do you mean? I got another attack. You hit her with one dagger, and then you rolled for the hit on the other dagger and missed. You gotta roll for damage. And you rolled the damage of two. And then I rolled another to hit her with the other dagger. <laughs> wow, you already rolled for that hit. And, and you missed. missed. What do you got, five you daggers? Just get <laughs> He's just taking them off from the shelves. <laughs> How many daggers? There's All a right, rack we're back full of oh, yeah. well, I'll even give you a break. Weapons. There's a rack full of I'll even give you a break. racks on racks. She's going to throw at the raven who's fucking up her shop now. <laughs> Jay, I'm going to need initiative out of you. What's your, what's your AC at? Um, as a raven? Yep. Jay only has one health, too. Yeah, but wouldn't I just turn back into my normal self if I yes. lost all my raven health? All right, sweet. That is sweet. a bonus of wild shapes. Fucking sick. All right, I have one hit point. But all right, AC's you're back 12. to your uh, trident comes out and slams you into the wall. Did she roll above a 12? Yeah. Oh, man. And you turn back into your human self. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know where I am. And I run out the door. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any problem with you running away. <laughs> Back to Sean's turn. Yeah, attack 
sure, yeah. Roll for the attack. Oh, Stop looking at me. <laughs> you did this to yourself. <laughs> Nat 20. All right, you're hitting with a crit on the first one. 20. Like 20, not Nat 20? Yeah. All right, you're hitting both of them. First one's a crit, though. So roll two damage on the first one. Four. Two. That's six, and then the third Four. Damage. All right, tell me how it goes down. Oh. Stab her right in the oh. machine and say, you should have just given me the fucking gold, bitch. Jesus. <laughs> this is just a plumber from Milwaukee. Working 60 hours. Sebastian works 60 hours. Ramma just also, watches this all the time. He's playing a video game by. to blow off some steam, and this lady's just not cooperating. <laughs> I'm All right, she a... falls to the ground and dies. Sebastian. I loot I loo her body. <laughs> you loot her body, give Sebastian, me a uh, oh nature check. God. Beats. I'm, I'm just playing beats for uh. you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just providing musical accompaniment 17. to a murderer. 17? Yeah. <laughs> I, everything's got to have some ambiance, you know? You can have her chain mail. Okay. I also loot her office. Her Punch office, you, you find like various that, weapons, <laughs> all of very common, equal quality to your own. It's just, you can have a... This bitch has no money? She's got no money. Yeah, money. You solved and your this job. whole weapon shop. It's like I said, you no gold I can melt down. You found a short sword, a spear, a trident, and a shield. Anybody but want a trident? Very it's common quality. Yeah. I just walk out and I go down to the other building. You're just moving on to the next building. Fuck it. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> All right, well. All right, killed that dead. lady. There's she nothing dead. to do here. Time to move to the next While building. While he's <laughs> doing all of that, yep. I'm going to keep putzing yeah. around the town. And Let's go to Ango. Has, has Ango has been putzing around, has he seen any other villagers anywhere, a sign of where people it's might be hiding? Right there. There's right there. Like, do I see a bunch of footprints? You don't see anything? anybody outside of the town. It seems like they all went into their perspective, respective buildings, but the bottom left one was the one that Sean went into, if you want to enter any of the other ones. Do I see any prominent buildings that would look like they belong to somebody, like a chief or somebody who would run the town? A, a house that's, like, bigger they than They all others. seem kind of normal. Like a town hall. It seems like a few of them are definitely shops. They have display boards out front, but... No, they all seem pretty normal. What's the furthest shot from him that I can go to that's not about to be ransacked? I mean, they're, they all look... I'll go to another ransacked. shop that he's... You've got the map right in front of you, my guy. All right, well, I'll go to whatever shop he's not going to is what I want to I'm, I'm over this by you. You want to go over yeah, by Which me. one do you want to go to, Sean? Upper left-hand corner shop, I guess, is where I'm going. He can go elsewhere. All right. And, Sean, you want to go to the bottom right? Is there any important-looking buildings? Move your piece, though. I don't have it up on the screen. It right? did, don't even bother with the piece right now because I'm mm -hmm. going to switch it over to another one. All right. Where's Sean? Because I want to know where you guys are at. Man. Sean, you're going to the bottom right? Yeah. All right, so we'll go to Ango first. Yeah, I'm assuming that he's about to go into another murder spree, so I'll try to wrap things up in my building a little bit quicker than that. Maybe Ango, try to get some using, info Once again, I'm using Frogman as our display piece you, here. You can kill as much as you'd like. I want to talk to one person before that happens. I just wanted to kill something, but apparently I'm not allowed to move in buildings <laughs> oh, during fights. All right, move. this is where you're at right now. Something. You see a man behind the counter, Ango? Okay, so I'm going to walk up, and I'm just going to walk up to the counter. First, when I look around the building, what, what does it look like? What do they have in there? This is what the map's for. Exactly what is But I can you? see, like, carpet see. or whatever, but it doesn't look just, like... It looks I see, to like, be an inn. An inn? Okay. Nailed it right on the head. Cool. I'm going to... <clears throat> <laughs> it's what the map is for. Just look at it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk up to the, the innkeeper. I say, you have a lot of goblins coming through here? Aye, we got a, quite a few goblins coming through here. Y'all got any, uh... I, I, I kind of, I, I thought I'd like the little green ghouls, but it turns out they're just little bastards and stuff. Green ghouls? Little green ghouls, yeah. That's, what's, what's a ghoul? You know, little green guys? or They're, they're kind of... They, they, they scurry around, little green ghouls. Goblins. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so how long have you had this issue for? And Let me tell you, since this town was established and we first got here, these goblins have been a menace. They just take the land for themselves and we just want them gone. They take the land, but do they ever take any shinies? I mean, they, they take anything that they can get their hands on. All right, cool. I also like shinies. Y'all 
y'all got a bounty to take care of this goblin problem? A bounty to take care of the goblins? Yeah, you, you think that the... I, I didn't see a whole lot of people here. I, I got to figure that you'd have at least like one or two shopkeepers that haven't been murdered so Listen, far. Don't you know get rid of those, happened, You get rid of those scum goblins for us and get that those menace off our lands. You, you can stay at the inn as long as you want, whenever you want. Okay. Until that happens, how much it costs to stay at night at the inn? Ten gold a night. Ten gold a night per person or per party? Per person. Per person? It's kind of fucked, but okay. All, All right. right. <laughs> so where, where do these goblins come from? There's a village on the other side of the cliffs, but you'll have to take the long way around the trail that leads to them. There's a old abandoned mine shaft that we started, but the goblins ran us out of there long ago, and past that, to the northwest of that, will be the goblin village. I was, I was going to follow a signpost I saw that said goblin cave but i thought i saw I, a little i wouldn't pool. i, I wouldn't turn. head to that cave it's swarming with manners of beast i took about two three turns trying to find a little green ghoul walking that way somehow wound up here what is what are these ghouls you keep talking about anyways <laughs> so if we're gonna go try to take care of this little ghoul problem of yours you got any helpful info for me like Anything that they might want to bargain with, or you, like... These creatures can't be bargained with. They're vicious and bloodthirsty. Okay, okay. Y'all got anything... I don't know, like... Anything that might pack a little punch to help me take care of it? Pack a little punch? Yeah, if we I had know. something to get rid of the goblins, we would have already gotten rid of But maybe y'all just suck, and I'm just that much better. Uh, well, that's why I offered you the reward, if you'd do it. Okay. I'll take care of it for you. I'll be back. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to walk out the inn. I'm going to say, I'm just going to scream out to everyone that I can still see. I'm just going to say, It's pretty much everyone except for Sean, who's in another building now. Looking for shinies? Let's go to the cave. And right, let's, while you're doing that, head over to the next shop that Sean is in. Um... Can we not come up with one for that? Be the armor weapon and do we not come up with one for that? Oh, it's armor. There we go. Yeah. Haha. There you go, Sean. This is the next shop you're in. Walk up and talk to the guy. Yep. What's up, shopkeeper? Sebastian's here for some goods. What kind of goods are you looking for? What you got? <laughs> we sell all sort of manners of medicine and items in this shop. All right. What kind of medicine you get? I mean, we could give you some healing potions or some mystical mana potions that we've discovered, but none of us here yeah. are powerful enough to use them. Yeah, no, nobody cares. Like, like you got something to make me feel good? Feel good? Yeah, feel good. Make Can me you feel better. Give me something to go off of here? Like, you know, make me feel better. I have these unicorn horn performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> now that sounds like something I'd get at the gas station on the corner. I'll take one of them. With a gas station, you said? I, you know what? Don't worry about it. You're just an NPC. I need you. <laughs> I mean, Sebastian needs you to get me one of them. I could get you that, but it's uh, it's special under the counter kind of stuff. We're talking 30, 40 gold. 30, 40 gold. Yeah, I got a guy who looks like a frog, thinks he's a duck. He said he'd cover me. Yeah, that's not how shops work. I'll arm <laughs> wrestle you for it. You'll arm <laughs> wrestle me for it? I, I prefer gold. It's right. a grunt door all over again. Yeah. I try to make him think I give him 40 gold, because I'm pretty sure I don't have any gold. <laughs> he looks right. Who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> Man, these are good mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> So at this point, I'm going to walk start out around as well okay. and try and figure out what's going on. What now, shop do you want to go into? Hold on, hold on. Don't Are you coming into the same shop as Gronthor? <laughs> Gronthor report to you? I, I walk or, I'm over. Sorry, not Gronthor. I'm fucking I walk over I'm here and I start talking to this guy. It's a statue. You're going to talk to the statue? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what are you doing, Stefan? <laughs> I'm going to try and figure out what's going on in town, so I will go to uh, probably the same shop that uh, 
Ongo. Ongo went too. All right. You're going, going up to the, the middle of the lane. Playing drums. I am yeah. going to sneak oh, over on the opposite side oh, of the statue that Grunthor is attempting to talk to. All right. You what? Sebastian. I'm sneaking over to <laughs> the exactly. other side of the statue to try and talk to him. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. I know. Why did he come through so tiny? All right, this is what's happening right now. You guys are talking to statues. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Stefan at the end. So we got Drake here and Vera at the end. Yeah, I didn't need any more info other than they might have shinies. Now so I'm you're dipping. For them. All right, just Rivera at the end. Then. <laughs> what are we doing at the end? So I'm just gonna I'm gonna ask him what he just told the furry guy here. He he started he ran out and started yelling something about shinies. Yeah, your friend's real odd, man. He uh, I told him if he got rid of the goblins for us, I'd give him free stay at the inn here. But then he asked about shinies and. I don't, I don't know where that came from. He just ran out of here yelled about shinies. <laughs> right. But yeah, if, if you guys take care of the goblins for us, get those creatures out of this land, and you could stay here anytime you want. I free. love it. All right, that definitely gives me a lot more context. Do you think anyone else would be willing to give me a sweet deal like that? <coughs> I mean, if you guys were able to take care of the goblins in the town, you probably have better weapons than we do. You don't look like you're wearing much armor. You could probably head over to the armor shop, but... I don't work there, so I can't tell you. All right, keen. All right, I'll, I'll head there then. All Thank right. you. Was that the lady you guys just killed? <laughs> it is not. No, that was shop. the weapon shop. So over at the armor shop with Rivera. <laughs> Actually, we'll just use Frogman for you because he's already set. Yeah. <laughs> you got this dashing young gentleman behind the counter <laughs> in his apron. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? So we're mercenaries. We're doing a little sellsword, sell, sellsword work here and uh, looking to see if we can cut you a deal. Uh, we need some goods to make this happen. You what need kind of deal are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get rid of your goblins. But goblins, as you, see, you say? I'm a little under provisioned. Under provision. That's a big word. Yeah, it's a big word. It means I need stuff to make the job work. <laughs> Needs to make job work. I got summer. <laughs> yeah, that that would that'd be a good start. <laughs> you got gold? I ain't got no gold. I like it the shiny. <laughs> I, I love the shiny, but we ain't got no shiny. I got uh, I got three corpses I can give you. Yeah, I'll do that. Corpses? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. dead people? Well, no. Uh, I don't know if you guys consider them people, but they're goblins. Goblins. How about hmm. this? I'll give you an ear. I'll give you an ear for uh, for some stuff. Just you know, proof. An ear for I can't make nothing out of an ear. Well, I, I could skin the goblins and make the, the skin into some nice skin suits. <laughs> 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 sure, Wait, you know before, what? If that's what floats your boat, let's before make Before we take the corpses, I was planning on looting, seeing if there's anything lootable from the goblins. Yeah, you want to do nature checks on them? See if there's anything on them? Whatever I need to do. Sure. Whatever. Through the door, <laughs> I hear something about skin suits. I say, I just yell, skin suits? You haven't thought of the smell, you bitch. All right, let's get a nature check on all three of them. <laughs> what? So, D20. And then you have your nature modifier down that in That one was a one. Oh. Ooh, so nature? sorry. Oh, I mean, if you roll four. a one, it's just a one. Yeah, one's always in that one. Eight. Eight. And then what's the next one? 23? 23. Can they even do that? Yeah. I, okay. yes. <laughs> Did you roll a nat 20? Y yes. Yes. Oh, it's just nat 20. Always right? announce when you roll a nat 1 or a nat 20. So okay. Okay. That's the only well, I got a nat, nat 1 and then a 5 All and right. then a nat 20. So the nat 1, you go to examine the body, and as you're doing it, you're just kind of digging through it, ripping it apart. Nothing's usable anymore. You did a terrible job. <laughs> uh, the 8, you can have a... Let me think. Let me think. An ear. <laughs> no, you can have a nice bow off of one of the goblins. Slay. A long bow, I'll give you. Go. 
And then the nat 20, you can absolutely have some leather armor. Let me give you a specific on that. Damn. Should have thought of that. Loot. What's your AC at right now on the top of your sheet? I was so locked into my frogman drawing, I honestly assumed someone else had already looted. Nope. Yeah, I've seen you do that before. There's, does it say armor class in the top? There's nothing in there. There's nothing in yeah, there? Like I'm just Throw an 11 in there. One. And then your items, oh, you're wearing yeah. leather armor right now. Okay. Show the camera, dude. Fling it all. All right. It looks just pretty Do much wanna, like the little let's, figurine. Let's I head back to. I forgot that guy. At let's home head there. back to the armor shop with Stefan. <laughs> oh, you're not heading back to me yet? Yeah, statue. I feel like statue. Let's head back to Stefan first. All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I guess I'm just gonna bounce a bit. All right. So I mean, I, I got nothing for you right now, but I'll see what I can do. I don't know what they got on. I'll figure it out. All right. I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right. Actually, real quick before we go on elsewhere, I want to make a trip over to that potion shop again. Or not again, but make a trip over to that potion shop. So you're shop. going over to the potion shop where they're talking to statues right now? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, uh, let's go to our statue talk. What's going on? As he walks in, I'm, uh, I, I just start pissing on the statue. All right. And walk out. All right. You're no longer in the potion shop. He was trying to trick him. Now he's just covered in piss. You walk up to the counter as you're walking through piss. I'm (laughs) I'm just, all I'm just going to do is just, can you guys make anything out of these goblin eyes? Because I I threw the daggers at that goblin, teleported both eyes out of its socket with the eyes still on on the daggers. I'm just going to take those eyeballs that came with the daggers. I'm just going to say, can you make a potion out of these and just set the daggers right on on the desk? I could cook them and put them in a stew, but... I don't eat goblin eyes. I don't know what you eat. Can you boil these eggs for me? Or eyes? <laughs> I, you never know when I you could. need a nice eye in a trying time. I could. I don't know what value it would have. I, I just took care of those goblins for you. Mind, mind boiling these up for me? You know, I got a cauldron right next to me. I'm, I could throw them in for you if you want. Please and thank you. Okay. <laughs> and he boils goblin eyes for you for some reason. Can I go talk to this guy? I don't see why not. All right, I go in that potion shop. All right. And I say, dude, why does it smell like piss in here? And I, I think your friend maybe relieved himself on my statue over there, which is a little disrespectful, but he seemed a little unhinged. So yeah, he's I was just going to let it. I don't, man. he seemed a little out of it. I don't know. Anyways, what did he say? What did he say? He wanted me to make potions for him, but didn't have any gold, so then he left and then peed on my statue. And right. You guys seem like a lot of trouble. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with the poison spray. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll for initiative, everybody that's in the potion shop, well, which I'll I believe... I'm the potion shop. I'm no longer oh. potion Ongo and oh, no. Pac-Man, let's roll I for initiative. I didn't want this. Ongo and Pac-Man, roll for initiative. I just ah. wanted some boiled... Because you never know when you're going to need a nice boiled egg initiative. in a trying time. Ten. Three. You said, I was trying to get said potions. three, Drake? Make potions. Make potions. I, three I just, and ten? I was trying to get potions. Couldn't get potions, so I just settled for boiled goblin I'm fired up, baby. And up. they said I was All right, Peck, man. Poison spray. Listen what's going on? What's the ability? Huh? You have to poison make spray. What's the ability? I have to make constitution Caught, saving throw? Save. Yeah. What are we in the item so shop right now? So you are going to, what's your constitution bonus? No, no, uh, his ability bonus, which I don't know what that is. Hey, if we can't beat him, you know, we oh, yeah, so it's going to be him. seven plus spell casting ability <laughs> modifier plus three, I think, or I mean, proficiency going, bonus. For and then I'll invite so the plumber nine, to Milwaukee, maybe his anger won't spread to uh, me. Proficiency would probably be two. Everyone, but I guess wisdom and I have to make a con saving throw. You said, What does he need for the con saving throw? I assume 10 or over. He's probably gonna need you're probably gonna need to roll like an 11, I think. What's the what is acid spray? Is it wisdom? I don't know. He rolled a 16, he's probably yeah, so he's gonna be fine. Either way, he's fine. He's fine, yeah. You mess with that acid spray, Jesus man. Let him tell me. All right, you say it's so depressing. Drake, would you like to do anything before we move on to our enemy? Going do on? I want to do anything? You just watch this man poison spray him. Oh. And you're in combat now. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Wait, can Stay I like with those daggers? Can I just Well, they're all fighting everyone. Can I do things in the yeah. meantime elsewhere? Oh yeah. Is there still that 
shop that was like on the top left of the That was the inn, yes. That, that was the inn? Yeah. Uh, Weren't there four? There's there one was, someone hasn't gone in. Yes, I, I got you. I will tell you, the mid, this building right here, we oh, have nothing like for, so don't okay. even try. It's just act like it's not there. Can I, is there, anything. wait, I don't want to go in. Is there a sign outside? This that one, I can read yes, there is. is a sign for the armor shop right here. That is, what's, okay. Armor shop, item shop, weapon shop, in. Okay. What are we Is in the armor now? shop empty You're right in the now? Because they're all finally. elsewhere? Yes. Can I go in the armor shop, please? Yes. Actually, I believe, Stefan, you were in the armor shop. Did you leave? Yeah, but he was talking yeah. to them like a normal The armor person. shop, yeah. I, <laughs> I didn't engage you left? in combat. I, yeah, the armor shop? Yeah, I left. All right, over to the armor shop. Okay. All right, one more time. I, I yell as he leaves. I'm like, coward. You were not in the armor shop to begin with, so it doesn't matter. All okay. right, I guess after okay. he asks, it's... Br- oh, no, Hold she's on. still doing her thing. Yeah. Armor shop? Sorry, I was going to... I want to try to sell my extra longbow that I just looted, but the weapon shop lady's dead, so I'm going to try to see true. if the armor shop person would be interested in purchasing I, it. I ain't got no weapons, but I, I give you I give you five gold for it. <laughs> <laughs> Can, am I, I feel like you're not going to answer this. Is five gold a good price for the both? Yes. <laughs> you have no context for this world. This is true. All right. This man seems very stupid, though, so I feel like I can try to barter with him. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask, <laughs> since you don't have any weapons at all, this seems like it's a great asset for you to buy. Can you offer any more gold to me? You speak some sense. You speak some sense. Give me a persuasion. D20 and then plus your persuasion modifier. Mm. Oh, nine. Nine. But it'd be hard to find a buyer when I don't sell weapons here. So um, I think I think five gold is a reasonable price. All right, I'll take the five gold. All right. He hands you the five gold and then goes, oh, I'm going to make a fortune on this bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You sure you don't want to kill the armor, Dan? <laughs> yeah, I do I? Take care of the weapons, lady. All right, I walk into the armor shop. All right. Say. Let's let's hold it. Let's go back to our weapon or our item shop. All right. Battle. So I guess I just I restick one of the knives into one of the freshly boiled goblin knives I have, and so I just point it is... non-threateningly towards the. Give me one sec. Okay. You're at the counter. Frogman left, and Nolan's in there. Correct. Daddy Buster Cherry. All right, we'll switch you guys so no one poison sprayed him in the face. Yeah. All right, go for it. Non-threateningly, just kind of like, just kind of like I'm handing them like a like a corn dog almost, just an eyeball and a knife. Just can I offer you a nice eye in this? Well, you trying gave him time? your eyeballs to boil, and he threw them in the pot, and then no one poison. Oh, they're still in the pot yeah. then. Yeah. Oh well, then I'm going to try to. So I'm right next to that cauldron. Then I'm literally just going to try to do my best to quickly just stab in there to try to get the knife into one of the eyes without searing my hand. Yeah, let's roll for a hit. Cool. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? All right, that's going to be an eleven. An eleven. Nah, you're not getting that eye out of there. You're missing all over the place. All right, you can't cool. kill everybody. Well, so I'm going to do it with both the knives at the same time. We've already almost. All right, let's go for the other one. That's an 11 again. <laughs> no, I you're haven't just, done yeah, you're just jamming at boiling water. Right right now. Now. <laughs> trying to stab it. Oh, really? You need information. Are you I going into the armor shop? I'm just going to turn around and just, don't worry, I got this. I'm just going to keep doing I'm just going to try to get them out of the cauldron. All right. Burn. Okay. He is going to go at Nolan over here. Yep. What you got? I'm going to try to make some sort of a bat where that involves the shopkeeper betting against me turning into a raven. <laughs> I'm going to run into the armor shop. I'm going to turn into a raven and be like, God, Are you gonna roll? gotcha. Yeah, even better. I have to think about what he's going to do. Are you going to roll, though? Yeah, after I think about what he's going to do. All right. Come think faster. Me. Come at me, Danny. <laughs> Your daddy. I know. Daddy's got daddies. I'm talking like Sebastian. <laughs> so you're coming at yourself? I don't know, in a weird ended sentence third person. <laughs> hey, Rat Monk. Mm. What's up with that uh, Benjamin? 
Yeah, I got you. The penny pot. Please. All right. You also want to say I drew a bunny. He bear. looks over at you and says, "How dare you!" As he lets out a roar and turns into a giant brown bear. <laughs> oh God! It's turns a into a giant. Turns into a bear. It's a okay. druid. Okay. Wait. Who... All right. Whatever. This was the item shop, man. What's he gonna do now? Uh, he's swiping at you. Right. Okay. Whatever. Oh, you're so <laughs> fucked, dude. You're. So... I made this hit. way too hard all of a sudden. <laughs> Swipe, dude. Swipe. What's your AC? Eleven. Roll that die, boy. Gonna get I'll roll it to make it a lot better. better. I'll roll it to make it. Where's my other dice? He's hitting you for Wait. seven damage. Okay. Okay. And then he's gonna swing his claw at you. Okay. And hit you for. Nine damage. I fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan's Why down on the ground. This, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I could this kill him. This isn't even his character. <laughs> <laughs> he just randomly started attacking people. I don't know what's he going said, on. This guy thinks Mine we're bad that, news. Do I have the same poison throw? spray? Every you have your saving throw. Your turn. Throw. Let's move on to Pac uh, <laughs> Man. Yeah, Make no your problem. first saving throw. With a what? Uh, D20. D20. Anything above a 10 saves. 16. All right, so All right. your first, so your first one. Throw you're good. One. Do, you do that one. two more times. All uh, right, Drake, what do you want to nope, do? Nope, ne next turn. You do it again. Right. So you're done now. I have to do it next turn. What do you want to do? Next yeah. turn. So Is me. Jabbing oh into boiling you're water. To regain consciousness or bleed out. How long until I. Three. Have to do it three times in a row? Three times in a row. Yeah. What if I miss. If you miss three times before you hit three dead. times, then you die. Actually, isn't it best two out of three? Just first, if you get two successes, you're up. I can't remember. I thought it was you had to get three before. Somebody you go I thought it was three fails, you're dead. Two successes, you're up. Oh, the hell? That might be. But it. I could be off. Uh, I don't remember. No, I have. Three, All right, so dude, I have three as as, as he's unconscious yeah. and can't hear me right now, I'm and just gonna go. Baldur's Gate does wait, 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 wait. I don't know this guy so good, but I already told the innkeeper that I go get some shinies and take care of your little ghoul problem that you've got going on right now. So if you don't kill this man, I promise you, whatever we get out of that cave, his share, it'll be yours to take. What's your proficiency in? In your two different things? Uh, I got in deception and slate of hand. Why don't you give me a uh, animal handling check over there? <laughs> uh. They can't understand common when they're animal there. Animal handling <laughs> check. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> Ten. Ten? He just kind of lets out a roar at you. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like he's turning back. Right. Oh, um. Throw that potion on me, dog. I have no potions. <laughs> Steal them, dog. bear. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a potion around me I'd be able to what? steal off a shelf and try you to chuck at him? You see some potions over on the shelf, but you have no idea what they do. Just <laughs> oh, yes! Do it, it please! Just random I'm potion going to down run the over to the closest shelf that I have. Look at the potions on the back. Pick a color. Pick a color. Yeah, where am I? Fuck. Fuck, dude. This is a bad time to almost have to pee yourself. <laughs> When's a potions. good time to have to pee yourself? Yeah, when you're in the bathroom? Halftime. Also a good answer. All right, so I'm Jeopardy. currently right here. I'm going to... My, only my daggers come back to me. But even though I can throw both... I can throw both daggers in one action. Can I throw two potions in one action? Even though they won't come back oh, to me. Give it to him. I don't know what I started here. I no. just was mad at that guy and decided to kill the shopkeeper. I know, so I know. I was going to go. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. Okay. Yeah. I was going to go. I see, I see well, a purple I got caught up in it because I was trying to, to you know. Right. Do I see anything I was trying to get you to forget like about those 60 hours. A couple on. colors swirling together. Like a mixture of sorts. I killed somebody. I'm doing whatever you I want. Is Not your name any solid colors. of What is your name? Sparkling swirling of a magical essence. Any different sure? colors? Sebastian does. Colors. See the ones on the map that you can see on the map. Yeah, I'm Sebastian, dog. Sebastian does what Sebastian does. Next to that, you see a big uh, red vial. Two smaller oh. orange vials. Okay, I see those ones now. Then you got the two greens and the light blue. This big red vial, how big is it, like, comparatively to me? Um, I'd say it's about the size of your forearm. Size of my forearm? So. Yeah. yeah. 
Can about I, how much weight do you think would be behind that bad boy then? It's about a two pound potion. Two pound potion? That's not so bad. Bro, just smack All it right. on me. I'm going to grab that big red boy. All right. And I'm going to, I guess, so I would be about what? Ooh. Right here. So that's one. Well, we're not going to go ice off that because that's just way too big. <laughs> See if this works. I'll, so I'll tell you, you're about, you're about 10 feet away. Ten, about 10 feet. All right, I'm going to run over to a homeboy who's literally dying on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to start, but I don't want to be like right next to the bear. Though. I want to be behind him so there's no opportunity attacks. I got you. I'm going to, I don't know what this potion is, but I'm just going to start pouring it. it was some into the mouth, the rest of it, wherever it goes. Can I say something before you go ahead, DM? Yep. All right, well... My guy is Dr. fucking Snake, dude. No, he's I don't not. care what you're saying. Right now. It's your not going to affect but my patron, decision at all. Actually, it might anger me to make my decision worse if you keep talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As you pour this liquid into his mouth, his body starts convulsing rapidly, and then foam starts coming out, and then he just feels so much better than he did, and he could stand up full health. No. Nice. You did it. You chose the right one. Now I'm going to start booking it towards the door. All right, if he was 10 feet and you went 10 and 10, I will give you another 10 feet to move, but that'll put you right at the door. All right, and I, I'm, I'm just going to yell to him. Like Spider-Man says, everybody gets one, and I'm just going to keep getting ready to run out the door. All right, uh, we're back at the enemy. He's going to attack Vaughn. <laughs> oh, I forgot down again. All right, he's the missing the first one, for nice, sure. I don't even nice, have to add missed, it. Yeah. What's your AC? 11. Plus proficiency bonus? No, just 11. No proficiency. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. oh, no. it's another... Uh, 13 damage. Yeah, I'm dead again. <laughs> I did it, man. You rolled well. Fuck. <laughs> the potion was pointless. <laughs> All right. Um, we're, by, we're back to Pac-Man. You want to do a save? We're resetting your saving yep. stones because you're down again. What, what, 10. 10? 10 or I'll give you the tie, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it 1 through 10, then 11 through 20? Nah, I decided to get Don't 10 through 20. All right. So now it's my so turn. So now we're back to Drake again, who's at the doorway. Just watch this go down again. <laughs> there are more potions there. Yeah. <sighs> That'll cost Run you back. about 20 feet back. to get back to the potions. <laughs> Run it back. All right, real quick, I'm just going to yell, fucking stop! <laughs> well, I'll roll for some more animal handling. Yeah, that, can I, re I literally just, and then it didn't really go okay, anywhere. Yeah. All right, that's going to be even worse than last time, so he's going to Yeah, he's, He sounds mad. angrier somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Smack the bear with a different one. Smack the bear with now. a different color. You guys are all going around the town. You hear some kind of roars and some commotion going on in the item uh, shop, but nobody's walked in yet. No. I'm going to head that direction. Right all next right, to that counter? Klein will be joining the battle. I have no problem Is that a flower this. basket that's next to the counter or something? Uh, uh, yeah, there's flowers. Flowers, flowers okay. Help. I guess I'm going to... Sebastian I'm just gonna runs. right run right over to to fucking Sebastian to Daddy. Have I'll stabilize. Man. He's playing his own role playing game. And then I'm gonna run back gonna over a little bit over to the side. Do I have enough? Him, okay. Do I have enough movement to try to get over to the blue and green potions on the left side? Yeah, just about. I'm gonna run and grab one of these green potions and just Let's chill. Go. All right, let's you've already go. stabilized it, so I'll give you, you can put it in your hand. I don't have a problem with that. Rivera, let's go over to you since you just joined. We'll put you at the back of the line. So I just take it into the sights. Uh, this dude's laying on the ground. Daddy's laying As on the ground. As you walk in, you watched uh, Ango run over, lift up his teammate from dying, run away as there's a bear behind the counter. Wait, you have, wait, you have me? <laughs> you didn't pick up the green potion? I have it in my hand on the other side, on the other side of the room. And you picked me up? I picked I'm just going to scream, like, everybody way. stop. Oh. Okay. It's not carrying you. Yep. Let's, let's, like let's, get, you let's get an animal handling from you, too. Oh, my God. Nine. Nine. He seems pretty angry as he's roaring back. He's angry. Oh, no. Plus animal two. Handling. Oh, 11. But no, that still doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so he's obviously not gonna stop. Why is the bear? Why is there a bear? Uh, he fucking ran in here and sp tried spraying him with acid. Yeah. I don't know. Why would you antagonize a bear? I'm dead. All right, I'm gonna move forward. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna grab him and then pull him away. I like it. I will give you. You can make it to the doorway with him, but I'm gonna need you to roll for an opportunity attack on you. Okay. I'm gonna give you. Give me a. Let's go athletics. Give me an athletics check because you're dragging him out of there. If you can we get roll. over a 10, then I'll say he, he doesn't get an attack on you. No. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna swing at you on your way out. He's missing your gut. <laughs> he says, please don't die. <laughs> Alright, so you're at the doorway dragging uh And now I'm just kind of on the left side of the here. building. And we're going to throw it over to our bear, who sees you grabbing his potions, and he's going to rush at you. He's going to hop this counter over here and rush at you. I'm coming he's back. towards you. I'm coming back. I swear to God, if I die because you sprayed him with it. Tried. You didn't even successfully right. spray him with acid. <laughs> I didn't even What's your AC? 13. 13? Ooh, he's hitting you four. <laughs> Can you just crit me, you bitch? No, no, no. Okay, Five no. damage. It was close, though. How much? Five damage on the first one. All right. Then he's going to swing his claws at you. What'd you say it was? 13. All right, he's missing you on the second attack. Cool. You're good. What do you want to do? Pac-Man, you're up next. Do you want to roll for your saving throw? Yeah, I have to, right? Yeah. No, he's already up. I stabilized him. Oh, he's stabilized 18. Oh, no, then no, I stabilized him. You stabilize him and run him out, and then he drags him out? Yeah, I dragged Okay, you're good then. What do you want to do? Um, well, I'm going to run back up to the bear and hit him with a poison spray. This is fascinating. You it's do fascinating. realize that I'm right <laughs> next to the bear. You have it's one health. I love it's not an You see what okay. I'm dealing with every time? I can well, what should I do? Should I leave? <laughs> <laughs> and then you die. Oh man. We're just fighting a bear now. I know, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. Alright, so I hit it with a poison spray, dude. Alright, you're running back up and poison spray this guy. Ten feet away, he will poison spray the bear. I'll give you ten feet about right there. Yeah. So you can try and draw. You All still right. have the green So bear's gotta, gotta make a con saving throw? Yeah. It's a bear. Probably good at those. Nine. Bam. Takes twelve damage. All right. You roll well, a D12, which oh. is this bad boy right there. Which one? That one there, yep. Two. two. Me, dude. Plus proficiency? Nope, nope. Two. Damage. Two. That proficiency is only going to be... All right. Big old damage. chunk out of the bear. <laughs> All right, my go? Uh, yeah. I'm literally just going to go, Daddy, chill. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck even is that? that? That's gonna be a non nat twenty. Non nat twenty? You're hitting him. But, or no, that, you're doing animal handling. Yes. On that. I will wrangle him down. You know, that's good enough that I'll give you a negotiation with him that the, he transforms out of his bear form. He's but he's still very pissed. He's like, you come into my shop and you shoot poison in my face and then you start throwing my supplies around? <laughs> I didn't do it. I tried bargaining. I came to bargain door, Mamu. So I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> what is even is that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What the heck even is that? <laughs> like I tried explaining a moment ago before he has took a chunk out of my arm. I already agree with the innkeeper that I'm gonna go take care of your goblin problem. I'm gonna take whatever shinies I can out of their cave and whatever shinies I find or whatever our party finds, you can take it all out of his fucking pocket. And, and what about this guy behind me who just came in and attacked me? I didn't attack anyone. I wanna, I wanna Not attack you, him. him. It's I the same, up. it's the same guy. <laughs> it's the same guy. Dude. I fucked up. <laughs> Stop attacking him. Stop attacking me. The potion, I didn't, I'll, I'm, I'm setting bro, this potion. Bro, bro, bro. What, what are you going to do to make this right? You came in and attacked me and destroyed some of my merchandise. Bro. While this is going on, I want to walk in, pull out this chain Ever? and I'll be like, hey man, will you trade me this for that unicorn thing? Where'd you get chain mail from? He oh, killed the moment. Oh my God. 
There's blood You're coming on back it. in with chain mail with blood on it. <laughs> it doesn't have blood on it. You said I got chain mail. Hey, you when Sean say says that, when Sean mail. says Wait, that, I run. Her, I'm trying to bargain for our lives. Okay. How'd you Sean comes her? in, chain mail ready to go. I Let me get a stealth eyes. from you. Okay. It has blood on it then. It the potion I dumped on this man. Eight. Hey, potion Eight. guy. He watches you run out of the shot. You go, I'm out, and run. He sees him walk in with a chain mail, immediately gets pissed again that this man, after you're trying to negotiate, ran from him after attacking, turns back into a bear. No! Let's get in another initiative. That was me. I left. I walk out. Well, I'm trying to fucking <laughs> bargain. That was attacking us again. Yeah, fuck this. Sean walked Let's in another anyways. initiative. He was going to turn into a bear anyways. No, he Let's wasn't. Go, uh, Let's go right back killed? to our enemy. That's he's gonna though, he's gonna be swinging at Drake over here first. I haven't done anything yet. Dude, I haven't used any pissed. actions. I was he's just trying to talk. Pissed. I'm still in my still in my You know turn. what? Fine. I'll give you your turn first. You saw him turn into a bear in front of Hit him with that goddamn poison, bro. Hit so before I set the poison down, because I didn't get an opportunity to set it down, like I was drums. about to. I'm not to. fucking around with any <laughs> of this, so dude. Oh, God. What are you doing? I'm going to try to take this green poison, and I'm going to try to, I guess... Pour whatever I can into, or what a potion. I'm assuming it's a poison. I'm going to try to pour it into the bear's <laughs> mouth and onto his face, just that area. Yeah, let's get a uh, champagne. Roll to hit for accuracy. Can I get with some sort of advantage because he's nah. right on my dick? Nah, I hate you, Nolan. <laughs> I hate you so much. The name's Daddy. Yeah, five. Five. You what? just kind of generally throw this thing at the bear, and you hear from the bear like a, a low roar, and then like a ha, 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 and that's all. You could just Spooky. keep hearing like a deep giggle coming from him. Uh, I hear a, a, a deep giggle. Uh, it's not the right potion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a, a deep giggle. So with with this deep giggle at all, does it seem like any of his attention has at all by been diverted, or is he? Like he just still... seems a lot happier, but wanting to kill you. Does he seem? Man, did he <laughs> toss my unicorn thing at him? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Like a dude, I, I was got trying bored. to buy that. <laughs> I got bored playing the drums. Eventually, I made my way over to the shop because I heard all the noise. I come in there, and I'm just like, yeah, fight, feisty little rat brain, and just pull out my rapier. And he, he doesn't know I want to attack, so I walk in all casually. I'm like, a little rat, like a sneaky rat. I, I come up behind him, and then I'm going to stab this fucking bear. Yeah! Let's, 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 get, a, a, let's get some sneak all the way up there. Why? He doesn't know I'm, I'm angry. That's why we're doing sneak. All right, See fine. See if he is aware fine. of you. Stab I'll roll against you. I'm a, also like a six foot eight rat person, so, you know. And it's oh, a, it's a, it's a, it's a six. I will so, all of you right now. We're getting yeah, he's, he smells oh, you I, coming I, I, up. Plus, he knows you're there. Plus, plus, plus whatever you have. Why don't you, why don't you roll some initiative for me? Minus three. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, why don't you roll some initiative for me? All right, fine. Oh my gosh. Fine. We're really fucking up, guys. My bad. Thirteen. You started this. You started it. No, yeah. I killed one you shot. This. I killed one shopkeeper, Ten. and I talked casually to this guy and pissed on a statue and left. You got this lucky. Guy. Yeah, this that is all the your The first fault. person you stabbed wasn't this guy. I, all right, I'm going down. Rivera, again. you threw a potion into his face. So I guess I'm literally I'll just. Go. I don't want to. I'm sorry. Yes, I'll I don't want to risk the opportunity attack. I. Eh. Fucking name. I guess you gotta risk it to get that biscuit, right? He only attacked once that last opportunity attack. I'm gonna try to get away from this man. Try to get some distance. All right, yeah. let's uh, let's roll against it. Why don't you just give me an athletics and I'll roll against it? While you're rolling, whenever we next time on the episode you win. of Dragon Ball That's gonna be a six. Nat twenty. <laughs> Ryan, hold on one sec. God, we're gonna go with this bite on you. It's against a thirteen. Ten damage. Well, I'm down. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what are we doing next time on Dragon Balls? <laughs> not yet, not yet. We're in the middle of battle. We'll go until the battle's over. Um, Drake's down. That's a strong word for this little right? predicament. This, this None of this massacre. had to happen. I know. No, All right, Drake's down. down. Let's go to uh, Rivera. To You're up speed next. It up at this point. You couldn't even wait for me to try to make a bargain? No, I didn't know that that's what you were trying he's, to do. I was literally he in the middle of bargaining. I, was, I feel like he started it off with, I want to bargain with you. <laughs> Rivera, what do you want to do? Yeah, that's true. You weren't even dead. You were alive and then ran out of the building. Right, yeah. <laughs> Should have won. 
I'm going to sigh and decide how much of this is my responsibility and... And just leave me there. You are right at the entrance. Frankly, you haven't even seen him die. You just can hear the bear fucking him up. <laughs> you don't know what's happening. It's like cocaine bear. I can just yeah. assume You just that keep hearing the these growls and screams now. coming from inside. And bear giggles. Like, yeah, the bear is laughing while I'm screaming in mortifying terror. What do you want to do? Stop you do have over this. Daddy just... Buster has left the building. It is just you and, wow. <laughs> frankly, Brando no, 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 in I'm, there now. No, I'm back in. I poison sprayed him again. He, did no, come back in. he took two yeah. damage. You're right. So you'd be like right you're ten feet away yeah, from you're the right. bear. So you are up there. The Rat King has walked in too. <laughs> Yeah. This is all wonderful. I am sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So you and Ratma fun. are at the entrance no. to this place. Sean, did you leave or are you just there? I walked in with the chain mail and he turned back into a bear and I was like, nope. And turned back into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. All, all right, right, so you are next to Ratma in the entrance to this place, listening to just screams and bears shit going on. Yeah, screams and bear giggles. <laughs> you can kind of see Nolan at the, or Daddy Buster over there near the counter. I'm just gonna dip. All right. Thanks. Rivera's out. Why? Thanks. I met you probably about 45 minutes ago, and now everybody's on, everybody's fighting a bear. Rat no, I, I completely what understand. Do do? I don't blame you. You're leaving too. Yeah. But also, right. fuck you. They both they both just <laughs> dip out of the building. They're out. I look at the bear and go, <laughs> "That's not worth it. I have one health right now." Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So that brings us back to our bear, actually. No, it's me. Nope, not yet. Back to our bear. No, nope, it's the bear you attacked gonna be... him. Bear got an opportunity to attack on him while he was moving. That's different. We're about uh, to see a our bear is going to turn around and charge at you. We're about to see the Leonardo DiCaprio We're scene. And you also have one helmet, by the way. I know. Yeah, you're going to get eaten. He's coming right back at you. Let's roll for some hits. So there's going to be two of us down in AC? here. That's great. 11. Seven. Yeah, he's hitting you with the first one. How much health you got? Yeah. So he's just down. You're down? Yeah, you're down. Anybody else want to uh, venture back <laughs> to the shop? Or do you just want to leave us both for dead on the first day? Sim already dead. Daddy, I'm in the armor shop. Dead. I don't even know this is going on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we, were, we were walking in. Oh, you're already in there. I was walking in and I didn't realize there's Our, a Sebastian oh. lights up a cigarette while listening to the bear's t- attack on these people. And just Our, our bear is going to turn back into his today. human self. Thank and he's you. Going to tie up both of you while he pours potions in your mouth to heal you, but you're both captured by the bear right now. Our bear man. Okay. <laughs> and you're behind his counter just being held hostage. So I got one health? Yeah, you're done. No, you're full health. Full health, but you're both mm-hmm. barely Bound. tied up. You're not getting out of there. Right, right, right. pop back in now that they're Do I have my staff? if he can trade me that unicorn thing for the shame mail, or... <laughs> you have your staff? No, your weapons are... Also gone from you. Although Drakes are kind of impossible to get yeah, off. So they're just kind of stationed on You can't take them from me. Damn it. Uh, hey, that could actually come in handy. Can That's I pop back really in cool. and it see is. him? Uh, hey, man, will you trade me the Shea Mail for that thing? I ain't got that 30 gold. For the unicorn? Yeah. For the dick pill? You know, the whiskey dick here. <laughs> so let's get a persuasion. Is there a back door to this place? Nah. Oh. Alright, then no. Remember, he said to none of these places. <laughs> 19. 19? Just... Yeah, let's uh, see what now. Should we assume oh, that all the yeah. from what, here on out are not again? going to have back doors? This is, I call it uh, hard dust. Hard dust? It hard has, dust. has some unicorn hair? Or it'll it'll corn make you or... go all night long. Oh, and this was for fight. <laughs> In a way. All right. <laughs> Fighting in the bed. And I'm just going to say while well, bound up, hey, that sounds kind of cool. Kind of nah, your mouth, your mouth is, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, I think that might be a good place to call it, yeah. 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 We got Sebastian two of our guys are captured. Uh, so, yeah, when Simma comes back, you're bound. Yeah, he's going to be like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I'm bound to gag and not Ask a good way. Look, that wasn't me, I swear. See, yeah, that sounds like a good place to call it there. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back next Sunday with some more D&D. 
Uh, if you haven't heard already, merch drop on February 1st. It's very high quality material sweatshirts. First come, first serve on the sizes. I believe it's about 65, not including shipping. So make sure you get on that right away, February 1st. Get them all they're here. Tune in to our podcast, well, which will be coming fun. out every Monday. It's a news, video game, anime, comic, and nerd pop culture podcast. Uh, yeah, and we do live streams throughout the week. Yeah. So thanks again, for tuning in. This has been Dungeons and so Dragons, much, the Tower of Dreams here, part guys. one. Thanks, chat. Oh, yeah. Woo! Peace out, you guys. Woo! Noon next Sunday. OBS literally crashed <laughs> as soon as you finished giving. I didn't stop streaming and just randomly crashed. Oh, perfect. Good stream.